That's iHeartAdvertising.com. From the Ingalls Studios, this is ESPN Asheville, WPEK, W225CJ Fairview, WMXF Waynesville, and iHeart Radio Station. The pounding begins. The wagons are circled. Every wind is raided. It's football time in America, and this republic has never been stronger. The Sportsocracy, Beer City's best sports talk, live from the Ingalls studio. And a welcome into the Sportsocracy on ESPN Asheville, 92.9 FM, 880 AM, 1400. Sportsocracy is heard everywhere on the iHeartRadio app, seen everywhere on YouTube. And uh, you can subscribe to the channel, get your thoughts in on the program. Uh, just go to the sportsocracy.com, click on the live video link in the middle of the page. It is a uh, Monday We're down to the Sweet 16, and it was it a great weekend on DraftKings. Oh, I I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I might have been a beer too deep and just started trolling people. <laughs> we had some little uh, jackal that felt the urge to say, well, Jeremy doesn't even bet his, what he, the picks he gives us. I felt the urge to throw out a, oh, do I not? Do I not do that? (laughs) You got receipts. I do like having receipts that I can legally post without fear of legal repercussion. That does help. (laughs) I do have one prevailing question uh, from the weekend at large. What is that? Which is harder for Grand Canyon to hit a free throw or to tackle in the NFL? Uh, Because I'm not real sure that either one of them is even possible. Well, you know, the Lopes, they struggled just a little bit. But yeah, which, listen, Bryce Drew, maybe run a play, bruh. Because I, I was pretty happy on that. But, and Duke fans never cease to amaze me at how they cannot read a sentence. I complained about the officials. I didn't say that it had an effect on the game. Okay, there's <laughs> no, a huge difference was, between those two things. That was a spanking one way or the other. Oh, the yeah. officiating can still be terrible and yes. one-sided in a blowout. The, the James Madison could literally have had the athletic director, the president, and the chancellor as the officials in that game, and they would have still got beaten by 25. <laughs> that was not the point of what I was trying to say. There is a problem with uh, with officiating, but there's always a problem with officiating. And I think part of the problem is nobody knows the damn rules. There's so many rules that we don't know. I mean, it's like, you know, you see all those bad laws that that are on the books in places like, you know, firing your gun at a four-way stop in, in South Carolina. That's still on the books down there, by the way. You should uh, never fire a gun at a four-way <laughs> stop. That was a weird flex. <laughs> there's just, there's dumb rules all over the place. And we just keep getting minutia after minutia after minutia. And now we don't know what a touchdown catch is. We don't know what a tackle is. If I'm a guy, you know, if I'm a linebacker, I'm standing here, I'm sitting here staring at a picture of, uh, of, of, of Wilson from, uh, from Cincinnati. So, so I'm Luke Wilson. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to tackle someone well, within the framework of the rules? Cause every which way I, I think I'm going to cause a penalty. Well, I, I do find it funny, and and you know, correct me if I'm wrong here. If we were listening to anybody on how we should be allowed to tackle, I feel like the NFL Players Association should have a very loud voice in that room. The owners unanimously voted to drop the hip drop tackle. Yes. In spite of the NFLPA writing them and saying, don't do this. For the love of all that's good and holy, do not do this. And yet you did it anyway, because this is what happens when lawyers get involved. Mm -hmm. And you just mark my words that this is coming. This will be the most god-awful, poorly officiated thing you have ever seen in your life. You will see flags on a weekly basis that make no sense. And you will ask the question, what exactly is he supposed to do in that (laughs) Let him go. In that situation. That's the only situ that is the that's the only thing you have, right? If you grab a guy from behind while he's running toward the end zone, you, you gotta just let him go. 
There's nothing I can do. I can't. I can't grab him and pull him back. Now I can't drop my hip and bring him to the ground. I can't pick him up off the ground and suplex his ass. What do you want me to do with him? They want you to boop him. Uh, you can boop him. Just boop right on. <laughs> You're down. Go down. If a player is, if an offensive player is past the defensive player, this makes it damn near impossible for him to do anything about the play without getting the flag well i just i want to draw a comparison okay we are a football show but we are in the middle of march madness so i i'm, I'm gonna ask a question that i asked years ago as a coach you you remember i call this the james harden rule where in in basically in all levels of competitive basketball we we put in the charge circle of you cannot be directly under the basket and draw a charge okay then we initiated this rule where the offensive player is allowed to completely initiate contact and it be a foul on the defensive player, even though they go straight up. What exactly are you supposed to do in that situation? Pray tell. I have watched this over the course of four days. I will never bitch about an NFL official ever again because it could be worse. We could get college basketball <laughs> officials. And this is kind of where I'm at with the hip drop. All right, you get to a certain point where you're over-legislating what we're doing to such a point that we can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. The only, So now you have taken away my ability to hit lead with a helmet in any shape, form, or fashion. If I contact the helmet in any shape, form, or fashion, foul. I can't touch a quarterback in any discernible way. I literally have to get out a pillow and lay him on it just ever so delicately so as to not damage the precious cargo. Right, dear God, don't fall on him. Oh, don't, no, don't. Nope. don't fall, you can't fall on him. Uh -uh. And don't can't let him throw, throw him down. And don't let him throw the ball and you just tap him on the head. You can't go with his legs. So what are you supposed to do? And now I have, I, I, I just have, I have a question. And I would like to know what would prevent this from happening? If the NFL Players Association came together and said, we cannot control what happened in the past, we can only control what happens in the future. And we, the governing body of the NFL Players Association, will sign a declaration that we agreed to every bit of this and we will not sue you no matter what happens. Would it change any of this? Because I think it's the only way it's changing. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Because I don't think they'll agree to it. I don't oh, think, I, do. I don't think you would get everybody on board. I think you, to a point, I think you would. So long as you don't do anything with the head, I think you'll get them on board with this. Mm -hmm. And look, I understand this has led to injuries. You, guess what leads to injuries? Putting on a polyurethane helmet. Two of the biggest humans you've ever seen, and they run at each other at full speed. Get you can't legislate car wrecks. I, I've I, I've used this exact same phrase basically the entire time I've been on radio. A car wreck is always going to be a car wreck. It can be worse if you run a stoplight, if you're speeding, and I can try my best to legislate those things. Mm -hmm. I cannot legislate car wrecks. And I keep seeing people say, oh, we're, we're headed to, fan, to to flag football. We're not. But I'm also getting to a point where I don't know where we are going to go. I mean, it, I think it's going to get closer than you want it to. Well, you, this this entity makes too much money. It's, oh, I get it. Just straight up. The I flag it, football thing. I understand what you're doing, and you're going hyper. I say that word so often incorrectly that now I can't even say it correctly. <laughs> you're going hyperbole. Yeah hyperbolic yeah i understand that mm -hmm. but you'll never get to that point no we won't actually ever get to a point where the guys have flags hanging off of but them. my question is where does the regression come in because with no hip drop you mark my words you're going to break every record you've ever seen offensively mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was set last year and the year before that and the year before that which is what they want the defensive and, and players I get don't, that, but the I, but 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 the business, the money makers, that's what they want. They want more points. They want more action. They want all of this to be more like arena football scores. 
and, and I fully understand that. I don't think they want what you just said. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of trying to legislate. It, it, it's a mixture of trying to legislate the rules in a way that that indemnify you from being litigated against down the line. It's the old CYA thing. Yep, I get it. But at some point, you have to look at this and go: Have we not learned the lesson of other sports? You have to have some form of defense. You have to. It can't just be, hey, let's score a bajillion D points. Because, yes, fantasy football is fun, but you go overboard at some point. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we're overboard at this point. Well, it's is it is it just about the points? Or is it about the injuries? Are we trying to protect the players? Yes. Do we like the points? Absolutely. You're going to have half the league in favor and half the league against constantly. The offensive players, to a point, they're going to appreciate the extra help. They'll appreciate keeping me safe. Mark Andrews, I'd love to see what he says about this because he's the poster child for this hip drop tackle now because it was you know Logan Wilson that, took him out basically with the hip drop what do guys like mark andrews feel about this you think he's in favor of it i do i don't know i don't know because i feel like there are certain guys and i look i have a very high opinion of mark andrews i always have i feel like at some point you have to just look around and go what are we doing all right i, I understand protecting your your head and and the helmets and all of the things but you get to a certain point where it's absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I just don't know how you put the toothpaste back in the tube. That's my problem with every single one of these. The kickoff. The kickoff's a perfect example. The NFL wants to keep that in the game. Fact or fiction? Fiction. Oh, uh, it's fact. It's they 100% want fact. to keep it in the game? No doubt. 100% that is a fact. Okay. And there are a multitude of reasons for that. One, if you take it out, the NFLPA will absolutely lose its mind. Because that's basically 96 guys a year whose jobs you're taking away. Okay. No shot I'm going down that rabbit hole. Right. But you legislated all these things to such a point that you can't go backwards. Mm -hmm. Because the first guy that gets hurt, let's say you unwind something. And you go back to even a modicum of what you had before. Which is guys taken off from the 30-yard line. You get somebody hurt. Now you have to worry about he's going to soak. That's just the way it goes. I was the victim of you going backwards. You were doing it right. It, so where do you go? This is how we keep getting all these goofy kickoff ideas of, well, we could put them at the 40-yard line and not let them take off until somebody catches the ball, in spite of the fact that that's 35 yards away from them and nobody could see that well. <laughs> you know what every bit of this tells me? You are having a game legislated by people that never played it. Yeah, see, I we did this with, to the NBA, and you broke it. And I'm not telling you by any stretch of the imagination that what has happened to the NBA will happen to the NFL. But it could. Mm -hmm. But it could. Because there are a lot of guys like me and you that like hard-hitting football, and I don't really want to watch Arena League football. I don't need to see 63-56. to 56. There's not really anything all that enjoyable to it. It's special once. Mm-hmm. You have that Chiefs Rams game on Monday Night Football where they're just scoring at will. That's fun. Yeah. Because it never happens. And yes, I do want points. I don't want to watch six to three. But there's got to be somewhere you can meet in the middle. Yeah. There's got to be a balance somewhere between the competition and the danger. There's always going to be an element of danger to something. And this is the problem is that we get into and i'm not assigning blame for anything on this it's just it concern is concern right you have oh you, i'm assigning you, you, blame. you have you have you know parents you have uh, uh you know you have administrators you have uh, owners you have players association you have all of these people that there's a voice to be heard in how this game is legislated but that's how this has to be done and when we have continued plays that keep hurting guys over and over and over again the same play, they're going to find a way to try to eliminate it. So Chris Oder chimed in with, you asked how Mark Andrews felt about this. He had a quote yes. in January. If they want to ban the tackle, that's fine, but I'm going to go out there and play hard no matter what. Yep. I don't blame the guy. He's just playing ball. Yep. 
I would wager that's how 95% of these guys feel. I would hope so. You know, and, and, and what I'm getting ready to say is going to be unpopular, and that's okay. Name's on the door. I, I do assign blame. I assign, assign blame to guys that played a game knowing full well that this could have long-reaching ramifications, and then you wanted to get paid on the backside. I have no problem with it, it, all right, I'll give you an example. Asbestos. There were a lot of people in the 60s that did not know how bad asbestos was for you. Those people deserve to be paid. If you're trying to tell me you didn't really understand that playing football might mean you were tapping out on the latter years, you're not very bright. Because I don't know a soul that's ever put on a helmet that didn't go, well, this is going to hurt later. This ain't going to be fun when I'm 50. Uh, I can tell you, you probably didn't. I didn't. Nobody I know that ever put on a helmet went, this will be good for all involved. Yeah. I'm sure my knees are really going to enjoy this. Yeah. And my feet. But guess what? Did it with basketball too. I have a bone spur in my foot right now, and I can tell you exactly the day. I can tell you to the day where it came from. I wouldn't change a thing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't change a thing. And so now you've gotten lawyers involved, and you've gotten to this point, and you're just drawing yourself into a corner. The NBA did that. Didn't end so hot. Mm -hmm. All I'm telling you is be careful. Right now, you're printing money and everything. Let the good times roll. The more you get lawyers involved and the more you litigate this game out, the harder it's going to be for some people to watch it. And what you said about parents, that's how you that's how you enact a rule change in football. You understand that, right? You don't do this at the NFL level. There's this great myth of, oh, well, kids see their favorite football player do it. Did they do it? on A, in large part, kids don't watch football. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you think we're playing Nickelodeon games? Because there's a whole generation here that the NFL is scared to death is not going to watch this game at the same level. You want to legislate football? Start it when they're seven years old. Teach them whatever it is you want them to do as a tackle, but stop changing it every 15 minutes. Because now you're confusing kids at that age. Then they get into high school. They still don't really understand it. You're not getting the highest level coaching in some places. That'll, that'll rankle somebody, I'm sure, even though I didn't say anybody specifically. You get to college, the rules are completely lost. They change every 15 seconds. Then they get to the NFL, same thing. I've been taught to do this since I was seven years old. Now I've gotten to the big time, you want me to st and you want me to change. That doesn't make any sense. No. Yeah, I disagree. Uh, <laughs> I, I disagree that if if they say it's time to change, you got to find a way to change. You got to figure out a way to stop. Well, there doing is all no the way things. to change this. To, yeah, stop, because, to stop dropping your hip when you grab somebody from behind. How do you tackle? I I don't know. That's the problem. What you know. just did is the problem with that. Don't give me the problem and just say, "Oh, it's a problem." There are a lot of things that are problems. All right, it's a problem that people run red lights every day. You're never going to stop it because there's always going to be cars, there's always going to be red lights, and there's always going to be people that are running behind for something and go, I can make this one. But in this case, you have to go over the top instead of underneath. So instead of dropping down and sliding him backwards, now you got to try to go over the top. Okay, let me, let me just in theory ask you a question. How much do you weigh right now? 227 pounds. You are 5'5", five, five, 227 pounds. <laughs> now, actually, what, 5'9", 5'10"? Yeah, 5'9 and a half. I, I, I weighed quarters. myself this morning. I am 6'5", 298 pounds. Let's see you try to go underneath on me and see how that works. Because mm -hmm. that's what you're asking. That's where this always falls apart. You have gigantic tight ends, you have gigantic wide receivers, and you got little tiny defensive backs. And you're asking them because you've sped up the game. You did this. You did this. When I was younger, corners were bigger. I've met several guys that played in the NFL in the late 90s. They're way bigger than the guys I saw at the combine. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, it's damn near because impossible. Because you sped them up. You sped everything up, and now you play five wide receivers, and you got to have five corners on the field. You got to have five defensive backs on the field at all times. You've still got guys like TJ Hawkinson 
Okay, Nate Wiggins tackling TJ Hawkinson, which, by the way, the weight discrepancy is roughly what I just said between me and you. Okay. That guy's always going to have to use leverage to get somebody down. Always. Because you're going to get to a point where the corners go, we can't do anything. You're asking me to tackle somebody that outweighs me by 75 pounds. And I can't, I can't hit them high, I can't hit them low, and I can't use my body weight to bring them down. That makes it physically impossible for me to tackle them. I don't disagree. Because there again, the point of this has to be, to me, rudimentary, bare bones, if the offensive guy is behind you, you're out of the play. I feel like that's what they're saying to all of the players. If he's past you, don't touch him. Because there's no way to do it. Um, Gambit fan says, so the solution to hip dropping is horse collaring. No, it's not horse collaring. It's when you get him around the waist, you got to go level with your impact. Physically impossible. I, I'm not saying that it's that it's possible. You All might as well ask him you to start cast dropping a spell. to the ground, they're going to throw the flag on you. And you might as well ask yards. the guy to cast a spell. Yeah, because that's how, and that's what drives me crazy is when we get into these arguments. I would love to hear what Nate Brown had to say about this. Mm -hmm. Who played receiver in this league for an extended period of time? He was our first co-host when we first started the show. I guarantee you, he would look at you and his response. I can almost hear him saying it. Man, I wish I'd played twenty years later than I did. (laughs) No doubt. Man, I wish I'd played twenty years later than I did. No doubt about it. He'd also say they're soft and probably cuss, and we'd have to dump. No doubt. So. I do find it funny that Nate did this show for, what, a year and a half? Yeah, something like that. I was the most vulgar comedian you've ever met in your life. He swore more on this show in a year and a half than I have in five and a half. No doubt. Which is confounding to me. Right. And we've also gotten a little we, we've gotten a little more liberal about <laughs> what swearing means on, on FCC radio, yes. which... I'm greatly appreciative of it. <laughs> You're in the sportsocracy, and this is ESPN Asheville, 92.9 FM, 880 AM, and 1400. If your credit card bills have gotten out of hand, call Consolidated Credit now. If the interest rates on your credit cards are so high, it'll take years to get out of debt. Call Consolidated Credit now. They've helped over 10 million people. Without destroying your credit, they can reduce your interest rates, lower your total payments up to 50% to get you out of debt fast. For a free consultation, call Consolidated Credit now. The program works. Call 800-988-0848. 800-988-0848. 800-988-0848. Consolidated Credit Solutions Incorporated, 5701 West Sunrise Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33313. Licensed by the New York Department of Financial Services and by the Vermont Department of Financial Regulation. Kansas CSO 0019051. Maryland DM 1492. Oregon DM 892. Licensed by the Virginia State Corporation Commission License Number DCA3. Service may adversely affect the individual's credit. Non-payment of debt may lead to additional finance charges or collections activity, including legal action. Actual interest rates, length of program, and monthly payment reductions will vary by consumer and creditor. Yours could be higher or lower. Not a loan company. We do not lend money. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In-store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. We're back counting down to kickoff. Let's look at today's three keys to premium pre-gaming with Beast Unleashed, presented by Monster Brewing. Number one, beat the heat. Unleash the beast with bold, familiar flavors, zero caffeine and zero sugar. Number two, running the option. There's four to choose from. White Haze, Peach Perfect, Scary Berries, and my personal favorite, Mean Green. And number three at 6% ABV, Max Protect. Always drink responsibly and you must be 21 or over. Beast Unleashed, available at your local retailer. 
Showtime Sports and Mountain Graphics have teamed up under new ownership by an Asheville native to better serve her community with the finest custom apparel and unique branded items at the best price. Showtime Sports and Mountain Graphics can customize whatever you, your team, business, or local group may need through high-quality screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving right here in Asheville. Free personal delivery within Buncombe County and a reduced delivery fee anywhere in Western North Carolina. Visit ShowtimeSportsAVL.com and MountainGraphicsAVL.com. Your one-stop custom apparel shops. In a developing story, we've learned that after decades of service to boys and girls everywhere, the Easter Bunny has stepped down. He has identified his replacement as a local rabbit who has been seen frequenting area Ingalls markets in recent days. He has been stocking up on Ingalls Easter candy, holiday hams, farm fresh eggs, and Easter lilies and balloons. And they also say that Easter magic indeed starts at Ingalls. The Sportsocracy. Pull up your pants, take off the bra, and be a man! And apparently learn how to tackle. Because none of us know how it's supposed to be done now. Um, it's because it can't be done. That's why I've, <laughs> I volunteered black magic. You just call Harry Potter's little uh, goofy keister and see if he can <laughs> sorcery a <his> spell. <laughs> Uh, Red, look, Red it, C says he could listen to you and I debate about uh, how to, you know, how to tackle defenders all day long, but he still doesn't have any clue how it's supposed to happen. No one does. That's the problem. The, the, see, this is what happens when uh, people whose children are named Button and Snowflake let start legislating. Button. <laughs> Maybe the, if you ask him really nicely to just fall down, he'll do that. Uh, this coming uh, today, this discussion coming to us today, as uh, the rule has been adopted to ban the hip drop tackle at the annual league meeting down in Orlando. We've got other news that is uh, coming, news and rumors that are coming out of Orlando as well that we'll get into later on in the program. Yes, Tennessee Titans 96, we're going to get there. Just give us a minute. We've only got a couple of minutes here. Oh, oh, no doubt. It's yeah, coming. Yeah. We're, we're going to talk about the Titans because they're they're doing stuff. They're coming up after the bottom of the hour, so just hang on. Now, here's my question: What are they going to ban next? Like next year when we when, when we come to the league meetings again, what's going to be on the table? Because I got a couple ideas. Okay. Um, defensive players are now only allowed to breathe fifteen <laughs> times per minute. <laughs> Don't want them getting an, an unfair competitive advantage. Mm-hmm. Defensive players must now not run at an offensive player because volatility, violence of the collisions. They yes. must now briskly jog towards the offensive player. Now you have to play like a like a zone coverage. Like you got to wait for him to come to you. You can't initiate the contact any longer if you're on the defensive side of the ball. It all sounds ridiculous, but each step in this process has been more ridiculous than the other. Like I gave it to you when we went, okay, spearing spearings out. We can't do that anymore. Can't lower the head and go to crown of the helmet and all that. It, that's it's fine. Horse collar. Okay. I saw a couple of guys get their legs exploded. All right. Get it. But how is this different? What do you mean? How is this? Different? How is, how is this different than the horse collar? It's basically the same injury, right? Yes. Basically the same motion. The, I'll be honest with you, the horse collars never really made a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, I get why you can't do it. I don't understand why you can also just yank somebody down by the hair. Well, it's their choice to have hair that long. It's also their choice to not tuck their jersey in at the top side. So, make it easy. fix that. It's really not that hard. So, no more hair pulling. If we're... Well, they tried that for a year, and then they went, no, this is stupid, because dudes with long hair are physically impossible to tackle. You're right. we got to grab him by the sleeves and hope he just... <laughs> uh, you know what? i got an idea. Let's just... We'll outlaw tackling, and then the offensive player will just... He'll see a defensive player standing there, and he'll lay down nicely. I think that's how gun control works. At least that's... <laughs> if you just take them away, then the bad people won't have... <laughs> I don't, I don't really think it works that way. I was getting that joke in one way or the other. Good for you. I 
what? I, look, I've been up since one thirty this morning. That's insane. I'm not in uh, the greatest of modes. Yeah, I mean, you got to go find you some like valerian root or something. And start <sighs> chewing on some sassafras. I, or, think I, I, I think I just need to start smoking crimes. <laughs> I I need to lose my ability to smell. I don't like that pine sully smell. It's just it's bad. It's bad, 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 but bad, bad. You're in the sportsocracy. This is ESPN Asheville. I'm Tank Spencer, and I approve this message. This is your Exergen Temple Scanner weather forecast on ESPN Asheville. Dry weather will continue here as we get into the afternoon with some partial sunshine. Uh, we may squeak out a sprinkle of rain. The gusty winds out of the south, though, 60 degrees. Not quite as chilly tonight. We'll drop to the low 40s. Uh, quite breezy, though. The winds gusting 30 plus. A few showers around tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon. Breezy and cool, high only 50. Showers tomorrow night, Wednesday, a chance of showers. A little warmer in the upper 60s. I'm Eddie Rogers, Race Digit from the Weather Channel. This report is sponsored by Summit Racing Equipment. Summit Racing has the parts you need to keep your truck rolling right. From custom grills to tonneau covers and everything in between. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions apply. Offer ends April 14th, 2024. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. You've heard about the thousands of patients finally getting relief from chronic joint pain thanks to QC Kinetics' non-invasive treatments. And here's one who was determined to avoid surgery. Meet Vicki. The orthopedic surgeon said, well, you're going to need knee replacement sooner rather than later. I can kept hearing commercials about QC Kinetics and thought, well, I'm going to check them out first. QC Kinetics has treated over 20,000 patients like Vicki around the country. People who were told they needed surgery but chose a more natural, less invasive approach that uses regenerative treatments to help heal and restore painful joints with no downtime. If QC Kinetics had not been what I expected, I would have gone through with the surgery, but I got so much relief and am now pretty much pain-free that I don't have to have the surgery. Before going under the knife, you need to check out QC Kinetics. The consultation is free. Call today. Call QC Kinetics 828-333-9517 That's 828-333-9517 828-333-9517 eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need for the prices you want and with eBay Guaranteed Fit it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time every time or your money back Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com Eligible items only Exclusions apply If cleanliness is next to godliness look around the car right now Is that very godly? Look, life comes at you fast, but so does WNC Auto Detailing. They have the tools to make your interior look like it's coming off the showroom floor. You don't believe me? Check them out on Instagram. All that filth and years of stains disappear. WNC Auto Detailing does full interior and exterior details with paint correction, and they do wax and ceramic coatings. Call WNC Auto Detailing at 455-3700. Premium care with a Southern hospitality touch. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the mountains, you need to call the agents at Clarissa Sells WNC, brokered by eXp Realty. Check us out online at clarissasellswnc.com. Download our free app on Google Play or the App Store. Type in Asheville Home Search. You'll be able to connect with our team and see all the available homes for sale in our area. For more information, contact us today at 828-774-6343 or clarissasellswnc at gmail.com. Boy, you must be outside your mind. The Sportsocracy. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. We are back at the Sportsocracy on ESPN Asheville. And it's a big week in the sports world. I mean, we got the Sweet 16 going on. We got the NFL League meetings happening. We got uh, still deals being done in the NFL. Oh, yeah. And baseball kicks off this week. And Shohei Otani, baseball's biggest star, is wrapped up in a gambling incident. If you haven't been following the story, so the Dodgers have fired his interpreter because apparently, well, we don't really know what the hell happened here because oh, the I story's changed three times. Oh, I can tell you exactly what happened. 
as a man that has gambled my entire life, sometimes with some what could be described as shady characters, uh, I'm going to say this interpreter feller is not very good at gambling. No. And he got in over his skis to some people that, well, they get very breaky when you don't give them what they want. Mm -hmm. So he went, hmm, what could I do here? I could ask my boss for a loan and not tell him what it's for. And he'll give it to me because we're like brothers. And then he did that like two more times. Uh Uh-huh. Possibly without him knowing about it. I will bet you a dollar to a donut he had no clue. I hope he had no clue. Because if he had a clue, and if it could be proved that he had a clue, Major League Baseball has a huge problem on their hands. Because forever you have stood on this, we can't be associated with illegal gambling. Okay, now we're associated with legal gambling, but now we have possibly the biggest star in baseball. baseball. (laughs) We still have the biggest star in baseball right now who may be directly linked to illegal gambling operations. Which then would in turn, huh, hey, Rob, what you going to do about that? Are you going to sit your biggest star? No. Oh, it's not just sit him. You'd have to ban him. You'd, yes, life. yes, you would have to ban him for life like you did Pete Rose. You know Pete Rose is sitting somewhere just going, good. Oh, that's not where I was headed. You know he's sitting somewhere going, blame it on somebody else. <laughs> Why did I not think of that? Yeah, yeah. Four four and a half million dollars in wire transfers from Otani's bank account to the account of a Southern California illegal bookmaking operation. The FBI has investigate has been investigating this uh, gambling ring, and now it's tied up. Shohei and today he's supposed to address the media. We're supposed to find out, but but we've already heard three different stories here. We heard that. Ah, well, you know, he's, you know, he may, he helped him make these bank transfers. And then when Shohei's representation got a hold of that and went, no, 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 you did not help him do anything because that makes you culpable. Yeah. And then they went, well, he stole it. I had no clue. I'm not sure. Couldn't. It hurts. I'm really interested to see. Does Shohei even know how to use it? Does he not even know how to write a check? Learn a book, bro. It's like 2024. He doesn't know how to write a check. He doesn't even know English. Am I the only one that immediately thought, is this why he signed that deferred contract? Because the interpreter's sitting here going, I can be betting bangers until I'm 80 years old. <laughs> he, I mean, he he makes more money than God anyway. So. Okay, so, all right, I, I, I have to ask this question. Yes. We don't talk about baseball much, which yes. means I get very limited opportunities to make fun of it, which means I'm going to take some shots here. You said this could be a catastrophic problem for baseball. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right, so what's the what's the catastrophic problem? Oh, Shohei has to not play. Mm-hmm. Tens and tens of people. <laughs> Stop. I mean, that. at this point, if you're still watching baseball, you've proven there is nothing you can, that they can do that will take you away from that television because they've done I guess, it all. I guess so. Or, but you, the numbers could. I mean, the numbers can always go down. I know that feels like. Ah, can it? Well, yeah. Well, it I mean, can. the numbers go down all the time because the vast majority of baseball fans are on the clock. <laughs> We're all on the clock, brother. Just some of us are headed there faster than others. Yeah, but theirs has dwindled down to that point where the shot clock's got tenths of a second. <laughs> because baseball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what even line? if you sit Otani down, it's not going to change anything. Will it not? No. <sighs> I mean, it, it, is there a person on this planet that goes, Shohei's not playing? I'm not going to watch it now. Do you honestly think that person exists? Because Maybe. I don't. At yeah, least not in this some. country. There are some. I, I don't think there is an American baseball fan in this country that would go, nope, I'm out. I think you're terribly wrong about that. I don't. I mean, I told you l- literally two weeks ago that by the by all discernible metrics, Caitlin Clark is more popular in this country right now than Shohei Otani. Of which I did not realize. I saw numbers, and I just went, oh, here's a fun way for me to poke at 
Shohei. Mm-hmm. I did not realize how popular she was. I know you don't because you were pooing me. Oh yeah, I, I, was I don't too get light. it at all. I was too light on that. We were, we were we were we were watching. She got our eyeballs this weekend, and the entire time we were watching that game, my wife goes, "She can shoot, but that girl is she's got an attitude problem because she was throwing haymakers." At people. Cheap shots, left and right, just bad at it. Nah, I don't get it. I don't get it why she's so damn popular. Oh, so a, a, a basketball player with a bad attitude. I, I do declare. <laughs> I, I am aghast <laughs> at this new information. I, you know, it's just like your role models to be a little more role model y. Oh, yeah, like LeBron James, who. Thankfully, he's coming back to play another year for all of us. <laughs> Woohoo! Did he make that official or something? No, he said that at the ESPYs, and I just no. I, I use it against him every time basketball Yay. comes up. Uh, my story is about NC State head coach Kevin Keats. I I don't know if you knew this, but this was a, this was a pretty profitable weekend for old Mister Keats. This is a coach that I genuinely thought there was no shot he would still be at NC State for another year. There wasn't. Do you know what he earned himself by getting to the Sweet 16? Oh, with the bonus in his contract? Yes, by beating Texas Tech and Oakland, not the California one. Mm -hmm. They beat Oakland of Michigan, with a, whose best player drives for Uber. Uh, I'm going to go with $1.2 million. You're way too high. Okay. Uh, this is college <laughs> basketball, bro. We don't make money like that. $175,000 in bonuses. Oh, well, there you go. But yeah. it also kicked in a little escalator in his contract. Two-year extension with a $400,000 raise. So, actually, you weren't that far off. It was about one point. Uh, it's right at $1 million that he guaranteed himself. Mm -hmm. If you're an NC State fan, are you happy about that? I don't see how you can be. Well, I mean, that's my question. Is this one Sweet 16 run worth two more years of Kevin Keats? No. Unequivocally, no. I can't agree with you. Really? I cannot agree with you. I'm, I'm going to give you a name, and you tell me what's the difference. Mark Godfrey. Same thing. You might have a Sweet 16 run here and there, but for the most part, you're going to be left going, Oh, shoot. Who's next? Okay. It's, ne it's, it's the same cycle. I, and, and I get it. But. But. Mm -hmm. This weekend was fun, wasn't it? Oh, of course it was. Last weekend was fun, wasn't mm -hmm. it? I could make the argument that this has been the most fun two weeks to be a, a wolf packer and a person who wagers on the wolf pack, which I'm in, the la in my lifetime. I would say Jim Valvano was the coach the last time NC State had this much fun. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's worth two more years. I mean, you're it's not it's not like you're gonna contend for national titles. If any if you learned anything this past weekend, it should be, man, it's a good time to be a fan of a blue blood because <laughs> the rest of you are LMNO screwed. And and that's fine if that's the world you want to continue to live in, right? NC State wants to keep talking about oh, we're we're a player. They want to You're belong not. with Duke. They want to belong with Carolina. They want to act like they're in the class. And that's all fine. You're never going to get there with Kevin Keats. This is – well, You're ne look, you're not going to get there with any coach that would take the NC State job. Uh -huh. And if they did, they would be gone on the first play and the first time it came up. Maybe so. Just enjoy it while it happens. It's fun. Trust me. See me do it. See my team do it. Yep. You know what we did this year? We won like 15 games. With a lottery pick. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Tennessee Titans have made a big move. They are pulling off the trade with the Kansas City Chiefs to get Legereus Sneed. And my question to you, Jeremy, is how much of a difference does this make? By itself? Yes. A good bit. I agree. I think this might be the most one of the most impactful moves of the offseason 
Okay, when you go to one of the most, I'll agree with you. One of the most. I, mean, I won't say it is the most, but you he is the one he is one of the players that's been added in this offseason that I go that immediately makes that entire defense better. You I had agree. no one to be scared of in the secondary. None. And I could eviscerate you. Now I can't do that. Nope. And now that's gonna allow my dogs up front to get home a little bit more. I could make the argument now that the Titans have had the best offseason of any team in the NFL. Hmm. With the Calvin Ridley pickup, with Legarius Sneed, and what else did they add? I, they've done a lot to Lloyd Cushenberry. Mm-hmm. They, they've done a lot to fortify the line. They've opened themselves up. They're going to take Joe Alt. <laughs> right now, if you can find a place to wager that, because I, I haven't found one yet. It's usually, not on the board. usually you can't wager outside of the top five because I'm trying to place him with the Titans at seven. Okay, that doesn't usually come on the board at DraftKings Sportsbook, which is the only place we wager here. There are no other sports books. Does doesn't usually come on the board until about two weeks before the draft, and by then, well, everybody's going to know it. So you mix all those things together, that Tennessee team's not bad. Quite formidable, in fact. And you've got a quarterback with a just a cannon of an arm. Well, there it is. Two legit receivers. I mean, there's there's the one. There's the big question mark. It's not that much of a question mark to me. Oh, I know. We know you fully believe in Will Levis. It's a big question mark for me as to whether or not this kid is going to be because I mean he did have moments last year, but overall he was he he was not a highly rated quarterback. No, I think he was, he was amongst was, the bottom in the QB, in QBR. Yeah, because he was a rookie with one receiver and the worst offensive line in of football in a league that included the New York Jets. That's not really a recipe for success. <laughs> no, I agree. But is that all on his surroundings? No doubt. Okay. Nobody. there. C.J. Stroud would not have succeeded with what he had in, in Houston or in uh, Tennessee last year. Now you can actually get a legit read on him. Because, look, Joe Alt's not going to come in here and be a world beater off the jump. But you add the fact that you've got Peter Skaronsky on the inside of him, that Mm -hmm. really makes me feel better. That I've got a blindside for Will Levis for the foreseeable future that is good, young, and talented. I've got a defense that can keep me in games. So I'm not asking Levis to do too much. The number one thing that kills young quarterbacks is asking them to do too much. We start getting into shootouts. We're, we've got a lame duck coach. I heard Greeny talking about this earlier, that, that you should never allow a lame duck coach to pick a quarterback. You should never have a lame duck co- coach, period. If it's that bad, fire him. Yeah. Shame him. <laughs> Shame him and fire him. Yes. If you're not sure, you need one, you want more than one more year with the guy. Maybe it's time to move on. Has anybody, has any coach in NFL history, have we ever looked at a guy and gone, uh, if he doesn't produce this year, he's fired, and then him not been fired within three years? Marvin I mean, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, that was way more on us than it was on Cincinnati. The Brown family looked at that and went, we're good. It's fine. Do you remember 3-13? and Because I do, and I don't want to do that again. Jeff Fisher. Ooh, that's a good answer. If we were playing Family Feud, that would have been. <laughs> that would definitely that be on the board. That would have scored you double digits. <laughs> no doubt. Survey says. God, has there ever been anybody that we universally believed way too much in more than Jeff Fisher? Ooh, that's Millie Vanilli. <laughs> I was trying to think football, but. Okay. Oh, no, I had. God, I had. So I started thinking like, like Schottenheimer. Comes in, comes to mind. Oh no, Marty was a good coach. Um, He's going to win big games. Okay. I'm not sure Jeff Fisher's not the number one football answer on that board. I had like nine political answers, but no politics. I get it. <laughs> no politics. He gets to do politics. Why do I not get to? Uh, Tennessee Titans, though. That is a huge move. Bringing in Legarius Sneed, fortifying the defensive secondary because not only did they do that, but they got Chidobe Awuzie as yes. well. And so there's now the two, which I like way better. Absolutely. Now you have a legit secondary that I can be afraid of. 
as a quarterback. I could argue it's a top five cornerback tandem in the league. Okay. Not sure how much I would believe it, but I could argue it. I was going to say, you're definitely in top 10 territory. No doubt. I don't know about top five territory. Top five is probably a little lofty. But, but maybe you're at, you're at the lead of the second tier of talented tandems. Yeah, well, I mean, you went from bottom five in the league to talking about top 10. That's good enough for me. Yeah, but if you if you like what they did on the offensive line, they've got a lot of young pieces there, right? They go with Alt. You'll have Alt, Skaronsky, and Nicholas Petit Ferrer. As all guys, thankfully, who have been, you'll be putting back on the right side where he belongs. Right, but all guys who have been drafted in the last two or three years, so you got a young base there. You got a young quarterback. You got Tony Pollard, Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, those are a little more aged pieces, but it's a good mix of young, hungry, veteran guys who want to prove themselves in another spot. Depending on what kind of head coach they got which we believe in. I like Brian Callahan a lot. But depending on uh, the, the, the dare I say, the culture that now exists, right? You wanted to get rid of the Vrabel culture. Well, I mean, he's out doing tequila shooters. and, and I mean, I get it. <laughs> you wanted to get rid of that culture. You wanted to bring in a different culture. You better hope that this one has the same kind of tenacity as the last one did. Because you add a little nasty main streak to this team, you're going to be just fine. The only problem is that you've got one team that, that we know definitively is really good. Yes. One team that we think will be really good, and then one wild card. The AFC South is going to be a really competitive, very really good division. Mm-hmm. For a long time, too. And now the Tennessee Titans just took that whole uh, discussion that we had what last week about best divisions in football they're clearly two now they are clearly the afc south is clearly the second best division in football in my opinion now as far as i would it, agree with it as it comes to competition between all teams in that conference because i wouldn't be shocked to see all of these teams are we talking about competition in the conference or most talented it's competition in the conference is the nfc south which one of <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you is Sucks less or awful? <laughs> no, I like that's this competition's ro- way better. I was about to say, that's the Rochambeau division of the NFL. You kick me, I'll kick you. One of us no. will fall down and might be a hernia involved. No, that definitely puts you in, that, that definitely puts you in third. What's the worst division in the NFL right now? Outside of the NFC South. It, that one doesn't even have to be discussed. To me, there's only two answers to this, and they both start with NFC. The NFC South. East and West. I took the South out. That was a guarantee. East and West. That was a given. I mean, I guess. The West. You got, what, two teams in each division that you don't believe in? uh, You got three teams that I have major questions about. I'm not sure there's a really good team in either one of those divisions. Wow. I okay. keep looking at the 49ers just going, how early is too early to bet the under on their win total for next year? <laughs> what are they at, 10 and a half? No, they're at 12 and a they're half. They're at 12 and a half. Well, you know that. You could you could possibly do worse. I, 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 I may have already seen me do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are in the Sportsocracy. This is ESPN Asheville. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, it'll be time for Jeremy's DraftKings tips of the day. Summit Dental is accepting new patients. At Summit, they submit insurance on your behalf and provide you with estimates so you have everything you need to make an informed treatment decision. They also work with Care Credit and they're happy to help you apply. Care Credit helps you pay for out of pocket health care expenses. See why Summit Dental has so many five star reviews on Google. Book today at AshevilleSummitDental.com. In-house savings programs are also available. Book online at AshevilleSummitDental.com. If you're in crisis, call 988 to get immediate assistance. Recovery is within your reach. You can do it. 
You just have to do it. For resources to help you in your recovery, call 211 or go to buncombecounty.org slash safer. Hope and healing, closer than you think. First news on 570. Nine years we've uh, all been together here. We certainly couldn't do it without uh, all of you who listen each and every single morning. Also, without the many fantastic advertisers that we have. Um, because let's face it, if Tank and I have to go do something else, mm, we're pretty much going to starve to death. <laughs> Tank, you had to get a real job for a little while. I did. Working for a living sucks. Doing this is great. <laughs> you sure I couldn't put it any better, Tank? i got to be honest with you. Weekday mornings at 6 on News Radio 570 WWNC. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like Freeform Radio. Search Freeform Radio and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. It's the moment you dream of. The moment you work for. To buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the mountains, you need to call the agents at Clarissa Sells WNC, brokered by eXp Realty. Check us out online at clarissasellswnc.com. And did I mention that Clarissa Sells WNC loves teachers? We love teachers so much, we're giving back 25% of our commission at closing. For more information, contact us today at 828-774-6343 or clarissasellswnc at gmail.com. We're a week into the madness, and there is definitely a trend that I'm seeing starting to form that could make you a lot of money in the second weekend and in the final four. I'm Jeremy Green of the Sportsocracy.com, and this is Green on Green, brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. There were a ton of upsets in round one, but that was incredibly predictable because the difference between a six seed and a 12 seed in this year's tournament was just not that significant. Where there is a huge drop-off is the ones and twos to everybody else. If you look at all the lines in the Sweet 16, there is only one game that is within three and a half points in the initial line. What does that tell me? That you're going to see a lot of chalk in the second weekend. I'm still looking at UConn, Purdue, and North Carolina, and I'll give you everybody else. In the history of the tournament, we've only had one year where all four ones made the final four. I'm not saying that this will be the year we have a second. I'm also saying I wouldn't bet against it. The one that would scare me the most would be Houston, but they're also in the easiest bracket. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with my promo code JGBETS and bet $5 will receive $250 instantly in bonus bets. Whether you prefer playing player props, same game parlays, or you just want to play that gut feeling in the money line, you can do it all with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code JGBETS and bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code JGBETS. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only, new customers only, subject to regulatory licensing requirements. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit, wagering, and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. This is your Exergen Temporal Scanner weather forecast on ESPN Asheville. Dry weather will continue here as we get into the afternoon with some partial sunshine. Uh, we may squeak out a sprinkle of rain. The gusty winds out of the south, though, 60 degrees. Not quite as chilly tonight. We'll drop to the low 40s. Uh, quite breezy, though. Winds gusting 30 plus. A few showers around tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon. Breezy and cool. High only 50. Showers tomorrow night, Wednesday, a chance of showers. A little warmer in the upper 60s. I'm Eddie Rogers, Ray Stigic from the Weather Channel. This report sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson's here. Spring is right around the corner, and Renewal by Anderson of the Carolinas is here to help get your home ready. During the month of March, take $347 off windows, $939 off doors, plus an additional 5% off your entire project. Go to freewindowassessment.com. It's the moment you dream of. The moment you work for all culminate into this time your moment Ingles we're with you 
every step of the way. iHeartRadio Earth is here with a new way to enjoy our beautiful planet. Reduce your impact on the environment this fall by packing a waste-free lunch for school or work. Avoid foods with excessive packaging. Use reusable cutlery, napkins, cups, bags, and containers, and recycle or compost any waste when possible. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living, or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash Earth. Help the planet with a tip from iHeartRadio Earth. Education doesn't just take place in the classroom. There are many ways children of all ages can learn about sustainability and the environment at home. Visit iHeartRadio.com slash Earth for a list of resources, activity guides, and toolkits that are educational and fun for the whole family. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living, or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash Earth. From the Ingalls Studios, this is ESPN Asheville, WPEK, W225CJ Fairview, WMXF Waynesville, and iHeart Radio Station. The Sportsocracy. It fires me up, man. I love it. Say it one more time. The Sportsocracy. Shake it back! Beer City's best sports talk. It is gross. Just earlier. They are mature, actually. You just have to get to know them better. Your lunchtime dose of dumbassery. Live from the Ingalls Studio. And welcome back into the Sportsocracy. It is ESPN Asheville, 92.9 FM, 880 AM, 1400. We are live in the Ingalls studio. Good to be back in the studio. We always have a lot of fun when we go out on the road. Um, And uh, we appreciate everybody coming to see us down at the Village Porch, 51 North Merriman Avenue. It's always fun we get to meet new people, too. Yes. uh, We we met a new super fan from New York. Yes, uh, Scotty. And his lovely wife. We met them at the Village Porch. Mm-hmm. I met some construction guys from Raleigh. Yeah, those guys were were real cool. They had a dude with them that I'm telling you right now. <laughs> He's a big old that boy. feller. If things went <laughs> sideways, I want that dude on my team. They went, oh, we work in construction, and I went, yep. I mean, you two, maybe not. That dude, definitely. He carries the dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's rare that I see somebody stand up from a stool, and I just go, oh, good lord. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. That guy's here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a little less loud now than I was five seconds ago. So keep an ear out for the next time that we go on the road in your local neighborhood. You can come out and see us as well. Um, we might just start showing up at people's houses. Like, hey, we're doing the show from here today. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we should do that, but why not? I mean, they need an invitation of those who show up on a random doorstep and be like, hey, can I use your Wi-Fi for a minute? <laughs> Why did you turn into Ross Perot when you said that? Can I, I, I finish? Can I finish? Can I can finish? Can I finish? <laughs> <laughs> we need to use all your Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, anyhow. Why can you only know. do impersonations of politicians? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not real sure. Jesse the body. Would do it. No, I can't do it. <laughs> He's been doing it for yeah, days. I've been doing it forever. Um, it's anyway. almost like he lost it and now he's trying to find it and let me go <laughs> there it was it's hard to do on demand it's one of those things you got to be in the moment uh anyhow welcome back into the program hope you enjoyed all of the weekend action in the ncaa tournament um but this is a football show and we've got prime making news again Deion sanders now says you know what we can it's a player empowerment era right we can just pick where we're gonna go and that's the end of the story because i'm Dion sanders i mean this is like a stone cold steve austin line like that's the bottom line because Dion said so he goes on a podcast called the million dollars worth of game on friday and he's talking about shadur his son, who's the quarterback at Colorado, and Travis Hunter, who was the kid that you know spurned Florida State and ended up joining him in Jackson State and then going on to Colorado with him. Two-way player, one of the top prospects in the next draft. And he says it's going to be an Eli thing with both of them. He's already decided where he wants them to go in the draft next year. And that's that. No one else can have a claim 
but the teams that they say they will play for. Cool, I'll pass. Yeah, me too. 100%. I don't understand why why you feel this is a good way to start a business relationship. Because that's what this is. Oh, I mean, I can answer so that. So what if... are you going to do when, okay, so say you stiff arm somebody and then they trade for you. What What are you going to do? You're going to have to acquiesce because well, that's how this system works. You don't just get to choose where you go. Well, and nobody views Shadour Sanders as a, a quarterback prospect that can call his own shot like that. No, no one is. Oh, I don't agree with that. Caleb Williams could have done it. Mm-hmm. It would have been a bad look. Eli could do it because of the family. John Elway could do it because he was such a generational prospect. Nobody that I know views Shadour Sanders as an elite quarterback prospect. You made a joke before the, the show that if he's saying this as he's going to go in the second day and I can control the narrative a little bit. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, Dion. if you think he's a sixth-round pick and a backup somewhere, fine, because he did go on and say that they didn't want to go anywhere cold. The anywhere cold is out. And then he named several teams that could be fits for Shador. San Francisco, Dallas, Washington, and Baltimore. So you mean the teams that he played for? Yeah. He's batting a 1,000 there of teams he played for. <laughs> right. All possible landing spots for Shador. Well, the problem with that is, is Shador wouldn't start over any of the quarterbacks that are in those spots. No. So unless you're saying, um, kid's just a backup, I want him to go learn from Lamar. You know, in the balmy environs of Baltimore. It gets no cold, cold in Baltimore. Yeah, no cold, wor- cold weather cities, but Baltimore's on the list. You know why he's doing this, right? So we'll talk about him? No. We would talk about him anyway. So he's re- Deion Sanders. So I mean, recruits will think that he has the power that he thinks he has? So he can look at recruits and go, these two... One of them is my son. Another one's like a son to me, and I tell anybody that that will listen. And look at how I stood up for them because 18-year-old kids think this is a good idea. Meanwhile, the parents are watching this going, what the hell do you think you are? You do understand that Travis Hunter and Shadour Sanders are not Dion Sanders, right? Dion in his prime had this kind of say. He had this kind of swing. Deion Sanders, the Colorado football coach? Bruh. <laughs> you don't. Maybe make a bowl game before you start talking like you're something special here, like you're Nick Saban. Are you out of your mind? I saw this story. Tank told this to me this morning. I saw this story over the weekend and I went, there's no way anybody could possibly be that stupid. Mm -hmm. And so I blew it off as though it was a fake internet story. Then you brought it up on ESPN and I went, oh, good Lord. No, it happened. It happened. He's out there. You can go, you can follow the links in the ESPN story to the, to the podcast. If, if you had a kid that was going into college football, would you have any interest in them playing for Deion Sanders? Not a chance. Neither would I. Not a chance. Neither would I. Because, frankly, I find I find that attitude repugnant, honestly. I, I, I think it's just... I'm not going to go that far. It's unbecoming. It's who in the hell do you think you are? And I don't want you teaching my kid that they can just stamp their feet and say, I don't want to do this. I've been trying to fight that my entire life, right? I've been trying to fight that for the last 12 years of my children's lives of this world doesn't owe you spit and you need to have a little backbone. There was a P in that. There was. That's why I I, I went spit. 
well calculated. I, I feel <laughs> like this is a – we did this. We did this. You know, so Dion was a was a fun story, and it was a guy we knew, and he goes into coaching, and nobody does that, and he goes to an HBCU, and we give him all the flowers for doing all these things. Mm-hmm. Then he spurns the HBCU, which he said specifically he wasn't going to do, mm-hmm. for more money and more fame and more notoriety and better recruits at Colorado. He got no shade for that. He goes to Colorado. He is the brashest coach in all of college football with his cowboy hat on the sideline, talking smack about every coach that comes to town. And then he fell on his face. And he got no flack for that. My question is, when does the flack come in? Because if it's not I, now, it's not going to happen. If you're not going to call this guy on the carpet after this, you're never going to do it. I don't know that it ever will. I don't know that it ever will because he is Deion Sanders. Because he is he's prime Deion. time. He's Deion. Mm-hmm. See, here's the problem with Deion Sanders. And I've thought this for a long time. I've never really had a tangible excuse to say it because he does defend his players. And there are things about him as a coach that – I absolutely respect what he doesn't get. You're not the story. You're not name me a time that Nick Saban was the story. We go into a game. We go into a rivalry game. We go into a bowl game and we're talking about something Nick Saban did or said that ever happened. Nope. No. Kirby smart. That ever happened. No. I could do this with practically every good coach in America. Yeah. Because you're taking the shine away from the kid. And I understand why you're trying to do it, because you're a marketer. This is also the reason that you have, and this is not an opinion, it's a straight-up fact, churned through coaches. Look at how many coaches have worked for him in just a handful of years. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for that. Sean Lewis got demoted in season. After stepping down from a head coaching, a D1 head coaching job to take your job as an offensive coordinator, and you demoted him. Deion Sanders thinks he's better than every person on this planet. That is a dangerous premise as a coach. Yes. Because as a coach, you're supposed to be a leader of men, a teacher of men. That's what you're employed to do. Not to come out here and be a yard barker, which is exactly what you're doing. You just so happen to have two very highly thought of talents, one of which is your son, one of which is a very talented recruit that's now on his third school. Mm -hmm. Trust me, we talk about these things. Scouts, we talk about these things. How do we get here? How did we get here with these guys? It's because you teach what you know. This is why I never thought this was going to work with Dion. I can tell you definitively it's why Florida State never even gave him a second thought. No doubt. Because this was always the fear. When he went and did the the HBCU thing at Jackson State, you got to give the guy all the credit. I respected that. Yes, you wanted to bring attention to HBCU schools. You wanted to build it up and all of that. I told you from the jump, this ain't lasting long. He's going to get that bite at the apple, and he will turn on everything that he just said. And what happened? Colorado comes a calling and oh bye I I did my part I brought you back up I got you some uh, highlights on ESPN and I got Eddie George over here interested and I mean taking credit for that obviously we don't know what Eddie George would have done if there had been no Deion Sanders but I got Eddie George to come and join the fight for the HBCUs I'm gonna let them have it now I'm on to bigger and better things because I'm Deion Sanders it was this way during his playing days, and we all thought it was cute because we were young. Like when he was, you know, two way star for the Atlanta Braves and the Atlanta Falcons, I was like seven years old, and he was the coolest thing around. He had a, you know, he had a hip hop album. He wore the big chains. He I was flashy you. on the field. He was great. He was taunting other guys. He had that attitude. I am Seacrest out on an entire team of Deion Sanders. This is. And that's the only thing it feels like he knows how to raise, right? That's the only thing that he knows how to cultivate in these is. guys. Be- exactly. This is who he is. Exactly. He came into Colorado and told all the bums to get the hell out. I'm getting, I'm getting my guys in here. And then what'd he do? He tanked it. 
Couldn't even qualify for a bowl game where 84 no. teams make it. No. 84 of 129 D1 schools make a bowl game, and you couldn't. Because shocker of shockers, that doesn't look like a team. When you have... Mm-hmm. When you have fifty or how many? What's the roster size in college football? Eighty-five or eighty? At scholarship level. Then you got walk-ons. Yeah, you got eighty to ninety guys on a sideline. They're all out for me, because coach is all out for him. Mm-hmm. How I mean he wants to make it look like he's all out for us, but in the end, if we do well, who does well? Deion Sanders. It's always been about making prime bigger. It is. To me, this is not going to end well. You got on, you got in every national spotlight opportunity you could, and you flopped time after time after time after time after time. And now I know a lot of people really want to say, well, as first year, he had a lot of churn. I can't say he inherited a bad roster because, like you said, he showed everybody the door. Those were all his guys. And I got news for you. It ain't going to get better this year either. Oh, but Shadur, Shadur regressed the entire year. I don't know what he did at Jackson State. I, I mean, I know what I saw mm-hmm. in the few games that I saw. He regressed gruesomely over the course of the year. By the end of the year, I'm not even sure I would have had a draftable grade on him had I not seen him in the past. And now you come out doing this? Mm -hmm. Is this doing any service to the kid? Does this benefit Shadur Sanders in any way? The answer to that is a resounding no. You know what benefits? Benefits Dion's ego. Because Dion has to be the loudest. Dion has to be the baddest. Dion has to be the best. He has to be the biggest and the brightest. Mm-hmm. That's not what a coach does. A coach teaches men so they can shine. Dion seems to be instructing just enough so that he can shine. I'm good. I'm good. I will bet against you and I will laugh as this happens. Because at no point have you been humbled by the fact that you have been absolutely kicked in the face your first year at Colorado. It never stopped your mouth. Mm-mm. Jay Norvell embarrassed you. It didn't stop your mouth. I'm good. I'm good. So I, I, as the vice president of this here sportsocracy, there's a motion on the floor. Oh. That Deion Sanders be put on conversation probation. I like it. I like Wait. My gavel. It is decided. <sighs> Until you do something that merits you being mentioned. Yep. Banishment. Yep. Yep. No yep. more mentions on this here program because, well, we don't talk about other mediocre, god-awful college programs. <laughs> Why should we talk about yours? You're in the sports accuracy. This is ESPN Asheville. If your credit card bills have gotten out of hand, call Consolidated Credit now. If the interest rates on your credit cards are so high, it'll take years to get out of debt. Call Consolidated Credit now. They've helped over 10 million people. Without destroying your credit, they can reduce your interest rates, lower your total payments up to 50% to get you out of debt fast. For a free consultation, call Consolidated Credit now. The program works. Call 800-988-0848. 800-988-0848. 800-988-0848. Consolidated Credit Solutions Incorporated, 5701 West Sunrise Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33313. Licensed by the New York Department of Financial Services and by the Vermont Department of Financial Regulation. Kansas CSO 0019051. Maryland DM 1492. Oregon DM 892. Licensed by the Virginia State Corporation Commission License Number DCA3. Service may adversely affect the individual's credit. Non-payment of debt may lead to additional finance charges or collections activity, including legal action. Actual interest rates, length of program, and monthly payment reductions will vary by consumer and creditor. Yours could be higher or lower. Not a loan company. We do not lend money. 
Travelers looking for a foodie-friendly vacation rich with culture don't have to travel far. Just north of Maine is Atlantic Canada. Start in New Brunswick, crossing the bridge from Maine to Campobello Island, home to Franklin D. Roosevelt International Park, celebrating its 60th anniversary this July. The president spent summers on this island, and tourists can now visit his mansion. Continue on to Nova Scotia with over 8,000 miles of coastline, including the world-famous Cabot Trail. Weave your way through Cape Breton Highlands National Park with spectacular views of Oceanside Cliffs and quaint fishing villages. Next, Prince Edward Island, known as Canada's food island and famous for its mussels, producing almost 40 million pounds a year. It's a foodie paradise with fresh lobsters, oysters, beef, and potatoes. Finally, stop in Newfoundland and Labrador to breathe the fresh sea air along Iceberg Alley, where 10,000-year-old icebergs drift south as humpback whales migrate north. It's also a rich feeding ground to millions of seabirds, including puffins and gannets. Learn more at visitatlanticcanadanow.com. If cleanliness is next to godliness, look around the car right now. Is that very godly? Look, life comes at you fast, but so does WNC Auto Detailing. They have the tools to make your interior look like it's coming off the showroom floor. You don't believe me? Check them out on Instagram. All that filth and years of stains disappear. WNC Auto Detailing does full interior and exterior details with paint correction, and they do wax and ceramic coatings. Call WNC Auto Detailing at 455-3700. Premium care with a Southern Hospitality Touch. Welcome to the Ingalls Table, a delicious destination with recipes galore. Need to whip up a dessert, entree, side dish? No problem. The experts from the Ingalls Table take you through it step by step with expert tips and advice along the way. Find the Ingalls Table at ingalls-markets.com or swing by the store and pick up your free copy of the Ingalls Table magazine. And let's get cooking. Ingalls, low prices, love the savings. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the mountains, you need to call the agents at Clarissa Sells WNC, brokered by eXp Realty. Check us out online at clarissasellswnc.com. Download our free app on Google Play or the App Store. Type in Asheville Home Search. You'll be able to connect with our team and see all the available homes for sale in our area. For more information, contact us today at 828-774-6343 or Clarissa Sells WNC at gmail.com. The Sportsocracy. That is some good, clean family fun there, eh, God? We are back in the Sportsocracy on ESPN Asheville. Down in Orlando, Florida, the NFL League meetings are underway. Oh, hold on. It just, I, I hate to do a complete U-turn, but there's a really good point in our uh, YouTube chat. Okay. It's from Tony Turntable. Uh, okay. How many promising quarterback pro- prospects have been ruined by these dumpster fire NFL organizations with coaches on the hot seat? I'm surprised more quarterbacks don't pull the Eli. You're not wrong. I see absolutely no right. Frankly, I pull for one of those organizations mm-hmm. that loves destroying these kids. I'll be honest with you. I said in October that if I were Caleb Williams, I would have said, Jets, Bears, I'm out. And I've had about a billion Bears fans say, this aged well. You haven't won a game. You get that, right? Just because you added a bunch of talent doesn't mean that this is going to work out. Mm -hmm. So I would take that hubris and maybe put it in a jar and wait until you've actually done something. I needed the excuse to say that. I've been wanting to say that for two solid weeks. He's got a point. I mean, sure. But it's one thing if the kid says it, for your coach to come out and say it about a quarterback and a cornerback? Are you kidding me? How many cornerbacks you ever seen get ruined by an NFL organization? Mm -hmm. That's not really a position that's ruinable. But I get the point from Tony Turnbull. It's funny that you bring up the Chicago Bears, Caleb Williams. As the NFL league meeting is happening down in Orlando, coaches are talking to the media. And today, Ryan Poles talked to the media. And the quote being pulled out of that little interview is that he was, quote, a little bit surprised. About what? About the lack of interest in trading for Justin Fields. No kidding. Again, again, 
this is one of those scenarios, Ryan, where I believe you could just lie by omission. Don't say that. <laughs> don't, oh, I don't. I don't. Don't ha- come out and say that you thought he was worth more than that, because I mean that that makes you look a little ridiculous to those of us who knew. Well, I don't think strongly. I, I don't think any of us knew it was going to be a six bad. I don't think anybody. I, Hell, at the beginning of the offseason, I was hearing Zach Wilson could go for a six. <laughs> and I'm not sure he's even a three in this league. I knew it was going to be bad. Mm-hmm. I thought Atlanta was going to overpay. They did not. No. They overpaid elsewhere. But I have no problem with him saying it now because you're really just going CYA because the reason that nobody would give you anything is because of you. If you have an item, and there's not a lot of this item. And yours is not, you know, it's not in pristine condition. You probably shouldn't say, well, I'm going to sell this or I'm going to throw it away. Because if somebody wants it, they'll just wait on you to throw it away. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what you did with Justin Fields. And now you're trying to cover yourself of, well, I was shocked that nobody had more interest. Are you? Are you shocked? Are you shocked that nobody wanted to walk into a walk year with Justin Fields? (laughs) Look what's happening in Pittsburgh right now. That's all you need to know. How many stories have already come out about Russell Wilson's in the pole position? Mm -hmm. Justin Fields is going to have to compete. Just You know why? There's a really simple reason for that. Because you have two personalities playing quarterback. And neither one of them are nearly as good as a fraction of your fan base thinks they are. Mm-hmm. This is Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Steelers, who might be the most stable franchise in the NFL, they can't control the narrative with Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. Oh, you were never going Why to. Why are you shocked that teams that have nothing else on the roster didn't want to sign up for that? The Raiders, they went, you know what? We're good with Aiden O'Connell. He's worked really hard. I don't know if you saw Antonio Pierce said that in the uh, – I did not. He said – I asked it last night or this morning. I don't okay. know which one. Said Aiden O'Connell's worked really hard, been in the been in the building, working with the guys, earned the shot to, to compete. Very happy with him and Gardner Minshew. You know what those two are? Boring. Mm-hmm. Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell are boring. Justin Fields is not boring. Justin Fields is polarizing. Yes. Russell Wilson is polarizing. Mm -hmm. Tim Tebow was polarizing. Mm -hmm. I'm good. It's okay to be polarizing if you're Aaron Rodgers. It's not okay to be polarizing when you're not that good. Okay. I'll play your game because I hate the example you just gave. Okay. Aaron Rodgers was worth... That that juice was worth the squeeze five years ago. Mm-hmm. Is it worth it now? Maybe. 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 You don't know. Played four plays last year. Uh, there, was, uh, there was a lot of squeeze. A lot of juice. Right. I don't feel like it could go any worse. Don't say that. Just, I'll, kill, <laughs> I'll have to kill you to, to appease the football gods. And I really don't want to have to do that. I appreciate that. Don't tempt. Don't tempt them. They love to toy with Jet fans. Am I wrong for saying, I just want boring? C.J. Stroud is boring as boring gets. Mm-hmm. There's no, no controversy. There's no There's no media. There's no press. I barely know how the kid sounds when he talks. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. That's why I look at Caleb Williams and go, ah, you know. How about Jaden Daniels? Because I don't even know what his voice sounds like, and he won the Heisman. Mm-hmm. I've heard it. Not much. I don't need polarizing. Polarizing gets me fired. I'm good. I say the same thing about Shadur Sanders, who we were just talking about in the last segment. You're not even that good. And so it's real easy for me to look at a perfect example next year. Quinn Ewers, Shadur Sanders at one. They have equal years. Which one are you taking? Quinn yours. Quinn yours. Don't even think about it. I don't have to deal with your dad. 
Because every time I do anything, he who has a microphone put in front of his face once a week is going to be criticizing me in the media. Mm-hmm. I'll pass. He'll be bashing me on Twitter. Mm-hmm. He'll I'm be doing good. all the things. I'm good. I don't disagree with you at all in that sense. The Pittsburgh Steelers were never going to control this narrative. You d- you didn't really think that was going to happen. That they were g- not going to have a controversy because they were the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, I knew they would. Okay, all right. I just no, wanted, I knew I, they would. Okay, I just wanted to clear that up because you said even they can't control this narrative. No, they were never going to. This is the best option that they had. You, they took the risk on the drama so that we could have the best possible outcome at quarterback because you weren't getting anybody better. You couldn't have drafted anybody as good as Russell Wilson or Justin Fields for this year. He's trying. I'm not sure I agree with that. Really? You could have signed Gardner Minshew for, what was it, $15 million? I'd rather have him than any name you've said here. And to me, it's not really all that close. Yeah, the problem is, though, those other two cost me markedly less than 15 you You're not wrong. They, they, they cost There's me, a reason what, for like that. two? There's a reason oh, yeah. for that. No, no doubt. You're less than five between the two of them. Okay, less than five. I think it's 4.85 is what's in my head for some reason. Sounds about right. You're also going to get three times the drama, as you just called it. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I don't need drama. Save the drama for your mama and her, soft, and, and her daytime soap operas. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I don't want it with my NFL football nope. team. I want teams to be as boring as humanly possible the kansas city chiefs are boring the buffalo the bills field. frankly mm-hmm. boring outside of stefan Diggs. san francisco 49ers boring virtually any good team boring mm-hmm. philadelphia eagles were boring then tush push oh oh look at tush push jason kelsey doing his podcast <laughs> pooper that's not ironic to me. You're in the sportsocracy. The ZSPN Asheville, 92.9 FM, 880 AM and 1400. Take a quick break. When we come back, it'll be time to get weird. This is your Exergen Temporal Scanner weather forecast on ESPN Asheville. Dry weather will continue here as we get into the afternoon with some partial sunshine. Uh, we may squeak out a sprinkle of rain. The gusty winds out of the south, though, 60 degrees. Not quite as chilly tonight. We'll drop to the low 40s. Uh, quite breezy, though. The wind's gusting 30-plus. A few showers around tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon. Breezy and cool, high only 50. Showers tomorrow night, Wednesday, a chance of showers. A little warmer in the upper 60s. I'm meteorologist Ray Stigic from the Weather Channel. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell's new cravings value menu is a big deal. Or rather, it's 10 big deals. From new items like the loaded nachos to familiar favorites like the spicy potato soft taco. Check it out at a participating Taco Bell today. Available for a limited time only while supplies last. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. Live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Doug Gottlieb here. March is here. That means chick days, planning your garden, and college basketball just like in basketball every team needs its mvp when it comes to team members who go above and beyond tractor supply has the winning lineup our home team at tractor supply is excited to support your hometown we're proud to be part of the excitement of college basketball tournament season and our home team looks forward to serving your hometown Because every day is game day at Tractor Supply. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the mountains, you need to call the agents at Clarissa Sells WNC, brokered by eXp Realty. Check us out online at clarissasellswnc.com. And did I mention that Clarissa Sells WNC loves teachers? We love teachers so much, we're giving back 25% of our commission at closing. For more information, contact us today at 828-774-6343 or clarissasellswnc at gmail.com. 
Showtime Sports and Mountain Graphics have teamed up under new ownership by an Asheville native to better serve our community with the finest custom apparel and unique branded items at the best price. Showtime Sports and Mountain Graphics can customize whatever you, your team, business, or local group may need through high-quality screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving right here in Asheville. Free personal delivery within Buncombe County and a reduced delivery fee anywhere in Western North Carolina. Visit ShowtimeSportsAVL.com and MountainGraphicsAVL.com. Your one-stop custom apparel shops. In a developing story, we've learned that after decades of service to boys and girls everywhere, the Easter Bunny has stepped down. He has identified his replacement as a local rabbit who has been seen frequenting area Ingalls markets in recent days. He has been stocking up on Ingalls Easter candy, holiday hams, farm fresh eggs, and Easter lilies and balloons. And they also say that Easter magic indeed starts at Ingalls. First news on 570. Nine years we've uh, all been together here. We certainly couldn't do it without uh, all of you who listen each and every single morning. Also, without the many fantastic advertisers that we have. Um, Because let's face it, if Tank and I have to go do something else, mm, we're pretty much going to starve to death. (laughs) Tank, you had to get a real job for a little while. I did. Working for a living sucks. Doing this is great. (laughs) I'm sure I couldn't put it any better, Tank. i got to be honest with you. Weekday mornings at 6 on News Radio 570 WWNC. On the weird scale, there's Vegas, there's Florida, and there's Asheville. Let's get weird, Asheville. It is ESPN Asheville. Time to get weird. And Jeremy, I saw this story out of the Charlotte area. And. Normally, I'm not one to be the guy to tell you what you can and cannot do with your property. But I saw this story, and I felt I had to get your reaction on this. Okay. So, I'm scared, but... So, in well, in a Charlotte neighborhood, residential neighborhood, single-family home in Charlotte, was sold recently. The new owner of this seven- to eight-bedroom home... Brothel. Nope. Airbnb. Turning it into an Airbnb. Now, normally that wouldn't be a problem. However, this person wants to rent it out per room for $23 a night. Brothel. Precisely. You have just taken the the house next door to mine and turned it into the Interstate Motel. No doubt. Which was a hotel here in Asheville uh, back in, you know, not too long ago. They want us to feel like, they don't want us to remember that this place was in operation several years ago, but it was $25 an hour. Like, we know what you're doing in there. This becomes a problem for me, though, because, I mean, seven to eight guests staying at one house in the middle of the night, that just seems like too much to me. And now the homeowner is all upset. Or, or the former homeowner is all upset because I wouldn't have sold it to you if you'd have been honest with me and told me what you were going to do with this property. Oh, the former owner has no right to say squat. Agreed. The city does, however. And the city... Yeah, eh, they, they move. Nah, the city ah, they move. has things, you know, they have inspectors and they have fire marshals and things that can keep, keep the occupancy down in the home at least. Uh, they showed up the other day to the house to do uh, said code enforcement inspection. They were denied entry into the house. Now they got to go get a search warrant. Wait, so you're saying they can only have so many people occupy? What if they had a lot of kids? I, I don't know what the rules are on all of this. Uh, all I know is code enforcement was called. I'm sure there are Airbnb rules occupancies and that kind of thing in single you know in residential neighborhoods i'm sure charlotte has all kinds of regulations for that i don't know to me this just felt really crime against humanity kind of thing well i mean to me it just sounds like a really good place to catch the uva (laughs) wahoo wah (laughs) but i need to know right or wrong from whose perspective the the city yeah look who you're talking to you're asking me if i think the government should be allowed to tell somebody what to do i think you knew the answer to this but long before you asked it to Mm -hmm. me 
My question would be why you want to rent a place like that for $23 a night per bedroom. Brothel! Brothel. Indeed. Have I ever told you my story of why I'm really picky about hotels? This actually, ironically enough, happened to me and my father. Dad was on a fishing trip. Okay. I was on a business trip. Mm Mm-hmm. I was in a city of, how do I say this nicely? It wasn't the most affluent city you've ever seen, but we were so unbelievably tired. We were driving somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Uh, I remember the city, but I'm not going to say it here. We stopped at a hotel because we saw a vacancy sign lit up. It was me and a guy that I, I worked with. He was on the same sales team I was on. So we stop. We walk in the lobby, tell him we need room for the night we're just thinking you know get two queen beds spend little because this place looks like a good place to get a beer and a scar uh and we get back on the road and the guy asked, the guy asked the guy that i was traveling with how many hours you need it for and i went nope out. <laughs> two states later i finally explained to him what he thought was going on mm-hmm. and i went this is why we had to leave immediately Matthew Hoffman in the YouTube comments is, Hey, I love it. The Thunderbird on tunnel and it's technically $36 a night. I don't need to know what you're doing there. Okay. You do your love wherever you want to do it. Okay. Just I think, I think I loved it. The Thunderbird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeremy what? loved it. The Thunderbird one time, a whole bunch of times. <laughs> I think that's how I caught the UVA. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, uh, and the herp. I don't even remember. I don't remember, I don't remember my story now. <laughs> and I feel like I need to tell Matthew Hoffman. He said that. Not me. This time he was the jerk. Not I'm, me. So, I'm sorry. It's, it's the one time where a spelling error went in my favor on YouTube. He lives oh, at the Thunderbird. Oh, is that what you did? Yes. He uh, said oh, he I loves were... at the Thunderbird. And, yeah. yeah did sure you just meant. go full grammar check on I somebody? Think I, did. I think I did. <laughs> The hunt and pecker of the uh, of the show that t- types with an individual finger hey, on both hands. You leave my pecker out of this. Okay? I knew. I'd set you up for that. My story's <laughs> about 4 J Smith. Do you know who that gent is? E.J. Smith? Nope. That's not what I said. You know it's not what I said. 4 J Smith. No, no, no. He is a character from the Yellowstone, which is starting to feel like a show that used to be on Paramount because I don't think it's ever coming back ever. So... We're just never going to know what happened to the Duttons. We'll assume they all killed each other. They all went to the train station. Forey, train station doesn't have nearly as big a role in that show as I wanted it to. And that makes me sad. Mm -hmm. Forey J. Smith is the, he's the older cowboy, uh, Lloyd. Oh, okay. The dude with the mustache. Yeah. 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 The guy that kind of looks like Sam Elliott. If you bought Sam Elliott at a trailer park from a guy with a trench coat. (laughs) Yes. But I love his character. And I think he's a phenomenal actor. Yes. This story is in the top five of least surprising things I've ever heard in my life. Oh, dear. So, apparently, he has an issue with something that people do. And he got thrown off of a plane because of it. Apparently, the person sitting next to him on the plane was wearing a mask. And that was just aghast. Damn. Now, why that would... I don't know why that would bother you so much. Make jokes. I get it. I may have seen me do it, but enough to get thrown off an airplane. So apparently he was upset that if somebody needed to be wearing a mask at this point, that they should not be on the plane because they're too sick and you might risk infecting the rest of us. That logic tracks. He's also notoriously against all forms of vaccinations, not just, you know, the one that we've all debated about. Shocker of shockers. So then in trying to get ahead of the story, he got on Instagram Live, and he did that old man thing. You know the old man thing, where you get the picture that's way too close and up the nostrils? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he did that. And he said, I just got kicked off a plane in, where the hell am I at? Houston. <laughs> this is verbatim. Houston, Texas, because I told him I didn't feel comfortable sitting next to someone with a mask on. Yeah, I've been drinking. I've been <laughs> sitting in the airport for three hours. Yeah, I'm drinking, but I ain't drunk. They throw me off a plane because I'm drunk. Because you people won't stand up and tell everybody what I can't say that word. This is. I just told them I didn't feel comfortable about sitting next to somebody that had to wear a mask and I'm off the plane. Oh, 
love and it. the only thing I could hear as because I actually watched the video. I tried to pull the audio, but it was quiet and there were airplane noises behind it. Airport noises, not airplane. He didn't have airplane noises. The only thing I could think about was Stan Marsh, his dad getting thrown out of the out of his baseball games, going, "This is America." I heard that through the entire thing. <laughs> and then as I marinated I just love on that, that he went, "I ain't drunk." I'm just drinking. I, of course, I'm drinking. I've been to the airport. <laughs> Who doesn't drink at the airport? Most people. Um. Forty. That is one thing I've look. Jeremy likes the boozes. Okay, some of you think that that's just a gas that I would talk about that. It's uh, uh, that and how we talk. In the words of the Pat McAfee show, that's what people do, and that's how people talk. Uh huh. So there's that. Um, I think this might be the least surprising story I've ever seen in my life. Agreed. Shocker, shocker! Some dude who plays a cowboy, who who you know helps dispose of people at a place called the train station yes. in his television show, uh, might just be a little bit on the conspiracy theory bandwagon. I also find it funny that his hashtags in the Instagram post were hashtag cowboy, hashtag country, hashtag western. <laughs> hashtag Yellowstone. Hashtag, hashtag Yellowstone TV. Oh, he missed an opportunity. Hashtag these colors don't run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Which means somebody somewhere was flipping through Instagram and went, hey, it's that guy from Yellowstone. Cuss him drinking him on an airplane. Yep, that tracks. <laughs> yep, that's actually the least surprising thing I've seen today. How <laughs> much horse tranquilizer did he consume? <laughs> I'm just curious. It's the government. It's the government doing it to us all. Oh, okay. Here's yep. the thing. Look, and I don't know if his character will be back. Look, oh, in Yellowstone? Yeah. I think he'll be fine. There's certain jobs that you can't get, that you don't really tend to get fired from for being, I don't know, a little kooky madooky, cowboy on Yellowstone, president of the United States, <laughs> sports talk show host in a small town in the mountains of North Carolina. Let's go! We can hide you wherever. This is America! <laughs> Hashtag birds aren't real. They're not. If he'd have done that, you'd have been best friends immediately. No doubt. I'd have become a cowboy. That's not true. I don't, I'm scared of horses and I don't look good in a cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's an image that I did not need. Me in a cowboy hat? That's a big damn horse. That's all I'm saying. You need to have one of the Belgians, like... The ones that are 85 hands high. Is that a unit of measurement? It is a measure, a unit of measurement for horses. Yes. Whose hands. hands? We talking about my hands or Kenny Pickett's hands? Because mm. we're talking my hands, that's a that's a big old horse. I'm going to say the, go, the ones doing the measuring are the cowboys. So I'm pretty sure there may not be too many of them with little scoot, scoot hands. Well, scoot, 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 scoot. <laughs> Hard to tie the ropes that way. I would imagine slaughtered this horse on tuesday afraid she's starting to turn <laughs> oh let's see what's next in the uh news of the nfl league meetings down in orlando oh the miami dolphins have a contract offer out for odell beckham jr um all right so last year it was the baltimore ravens who got uh you know hoodooed by that voodoo of Odell Beckham Jr. still is something. They gave him, what, $13 million last year? $18. $18 million. The rumor I heard was that the Miami Dolphins may be in for close to 11, which to me is still a drastic overpay for Odell Beckham Jr. Okay, for $11 million, I'm going to need you to give me seven Odell Beckham Juniors. Precisely. Just Could I not get one Cedric Wilson for like three million? I mean, I'm starting to feel like Chris Rock with that that, that old bit he used to do on In Living Color. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Yep. How about I give you two million dollars and you give me Noah Brown? <laughs> Precisely. Why are teams still getting hoodwinked? I don't know. By this guy, I don't know. He had one catch. 10 years ago? It, more than 10 years ago. No, it wasn't that Wasn't long. it? No. It hadn't been leaked that long. Are you sure? I am sure. Okay. What was that maybe 2017? 2017 sounds right. Okay. All right. So, 
So seven years ago ish, the guy had one great catch, one great season. And from that point on, he has been a complete and utter disappointment to everyone who's ever given him money. I don't see how he's still doing this. I I, I don't either. I, I don't see how, especially, especially in a in a climate like we're in in the NFL right now, where you've got seventy five draftable receivers in this class. How in the world are you looking at Odell Beckham Jr. going, yeah, I want to do that? Mm -hmm. Did you see the other story about Odell Beckham Jr. that came down? That Kim Kardashian wants to have a child with him because he has great genetics? Oh, okay. okay. That kid's not even been conceived yet and is already the most overrated person on the planet. Mm -hmm. It was 10 years ago, by the way. 2014 was his rookie season. Are you sure? I'm looking at it right now. NFL career statistics. 2014 was his rookie year. Has he been in the league? Good Lord, I'm getting old. Yes. Are you sure? (laughs) You are right. Yes, you're going to have to tell NFL statistics that they're wrong. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'll do it. (laughs) We we all know you will. Odell Beckham Jr. still, still thinking. See, this this is that kind of thing that we were talking about earlier with, with the new football coach who should not be named. Uh, yep, nope. Conversation you get, probation. You're going to give this – is, this is the kind of attitude, though. This is the kind of superstar that you're grooming in, for well, the now, future. Well, in fairness, Odell Beckham Jr. has not done anything wrong out loud in many years. He gets a reputation for being like a team annihilator – I don't think he spoke a word out loud in Baltimore. He's just not any good. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, he was fine. 32-year-old receivers, first of all, receivers age like dairy products in the first place because you take enough hits over the middle like that and they start to wear out. You're not as fast as you were. Mm-hmm. He was never a great route runner in the first place. It just ages poorly. Well, yeah. I mean, at this point, I feel like he's just kind of hanging on and getting the best deal he can. Maybe I give more. Maybe I should be giving more props to his agent than anybody for being able to get these contracts out of these teams. But I mean, he was loud with New York. That's why they traded him to Cleveland. He got loud in Cleveland. Wasn't really all that loud in Cleveland. There were a lot of reports of things that happened behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. I just I don't get it. I I look at this receiver class and go, you know what? You better. Better be on your just bestest behavior and have a joke book in your back pocket because I don't need I don't need it. I don't need it. Deontay Johnson, who is five times the receiver that Odell Beckham Jr. is, the Panthers got him for what equated to a bag of footballs. Mm-hmm. I don't need to pay you eleven million dollars. I'll go get somebody ten times the player that you are for less. Mm-hmm. Makes no sense. I would say nothing comes of it. But I've been surprised before. I mean, something will come of it. I hope to God for the Miami Dolphins' sake that it's not $11 million worth. Oh, that would be insane. You can't. I mean, that's a drastic overpay. No doubt. And I think Baltimore proved it last year that this guy ain't worth big-time money anymore. And if you're still offering him that, again, you got hoodooed by the agent. Uh, back satisfied Browns fan said, Jeremy, you're right. He wasn't loud in Cleveland. His father was. Ah, uh, Also a problem that comes with Odell Beckham Jr. That's the story that I remember. Okay. All right. To be fair, duly noted. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get paying for, for past play. It doesn't make any sense. No. No. He what? had one year with the Rams, and it wasn't even a year. It was a run at the end of the season. It was a postseason run. That was it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I mean, he had 1,000-yard year in Cleveland. Other than that, he hasn't been squat in this league since 2018. That was six years ago. How many times do you keep having to make – how many times do you have to keep making the same mistake before you learn? (laughs) 
It's funny you should say that because I keep playing parlays and I'm not learning the lesson because I'm off about a half a point every time. Uh, but hey, how, many, how many legs those parlays got, Tank? Four. I'm sticking to the poodle rule. It's just, you know, and hadn't hit that one yet. But you know what? I feel like I'm getting closer. And you can get in on the action, too, because DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. And you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in the Tar Heel State with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with the promo code WPEK and bet $5 will receive $250 instantly in bonus bets. They have all the best features, same game parlays, player props, and more with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using the code WPEK and bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code WPEK. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR, not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. Maybe my luck will turn around this week. The real thing I got to start doing is listening to Flo Stradamus. I mean, Jeremy hit a, a, a it, it was five-legger. Okay. I may not have adhered to the poodle rule, but sometimes a bet is too good. All right, so maybe, maybe the poodle rule is best described as like the speeding rule, where don't speed unless it's like six miles an hour over. It's not like don't do meth. You don't do meth. That's a hard and fast rule. Mm -hmm. Poodle rule is like most of the time. You're in the sportsocracy. This is ESPN Asheville. At GiveMeTheVin.com, it's all digital. We have a 45-second offer online. It's fast, it's easy, and we have the best online reviews on the planet. Sell me your car. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Woody and Wilcox. By the way, that's my favorite thing about bowling alleys is the little blower that that helps you dry the sweaty hands. No offense, you are out of shape if you're sweating while you're bowling. Oh my, I'm sweating just doing this. Are you kidding me? Rock 105.1. Asheville's Real Rock. Our state's future begins with our students. That's why the North Carolina Education Lottery has contributed over $10 billion to education. Through scholarships, school construction, support staff, and pre-K programs, lottery dollars move our state forward, helping students become the best versions of themselves. Visit movingncstudentsforward.com and share how your student or school community has benefited for a chance to earn $2,000 for your story. Must be 18 to play. Problem Gambling Helpline 877-718-5543. Help the planet with a tip from iHeartRadio Earth. Education doesn't just take place in the classroom. There are many ways children of all ages can learn about sustainability and the environment at home. Visit iHeartRadio.com Earth for a list of resources, activity guides, and toolkits that are educational and fun for the whole family. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com Earth iHeartRadio Earth is here with a new way to enjoy our beautiful planet. Reduce your impact on the environment this fall by packing a waste-free lunch for school or work. Avoid foods with excessive packaging. Use reusable cutlery, napkins, cups, bags, and containers, and recycle or compost any waste when possible. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com earth. It's the moment you dream of. The moment.
We're back counting down to kickoff. Let's look at today's three keys to premium pre-gaming with Beast Unleashed, presented by Monster Brewing. Number one, beat the heat. Unleash the beast with bold, familiar flavors, zero caffeine and zero sugar. Number two, running the option. There's four to choose from. White haze, peach perfect, scary berries, and my personal favorite, mean green. And number three at 6% ABV, max protect. Always drink responsibly and you must be 21 or over. Beast Unleashed, available at your local retailer. This is your Exergen Temporal Scanner weather forecast on ESPN Asheville. Dry weather will continue here as we get into the afternoon with some partial sunshine. Uh, we may squeak out a sprinkle of rain. The gusty winds out of the south, though, 60 degrees. Not quite as chilly tonight. We'll drop to the low 40s. Uh, quite breezy, though. Winds gusting 30 plus. A few showers around tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon. Breezy and cool, high only 50. Showers tomorrow night, Wednesday, a chance of showers. A little warmer in the upper 60s. I'm Ethan Rogers, Ray Stigic from the Weather Channel. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep, even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. People are talking about Summit Dental in Asheville. Just check out their Google reviews. One patient writes, I'll start by saying I really hate going to the dentist. My anxiety is always through the roof and I'm always so nervous. However, Summit Dental may be the first place that my anxiety is actually not going through the roof. The staff that works at Summit are an incredible team. They're kind, knowledgeable, and funny. I left feeling confident that we have a plan to help restore my teeth and get me on track to a better smile. Find out more about Summit Dental at AshevilleSummitDental.com or call 828-277-6868. This wildfire safety message brought to you by the NC Forest Service. Did you know that careless backyard burning is the number one cause of wildfires in North Carolina? Remember these safety tips. Always check for burn bans or fire restrictions in your area. Have a valid burn permit. Watch the weather and never burn on dry, windy days. Keep your burn pile small, not tall. And never leave a fire unattended. You are the best defense against wildfire. Learn more today at ncforestservice.gov. ncforestservice.gov. From the Ingalls Studios, this is ESPN Asheville, WPEK, W225CJ Fairview, WMXF Waynesville, and iHeart Radio Station. The Sportsocracy. It fires me up, man. I love it. Say it one more time. The Sportsocracy. Shake it back! Beer City's best sports talk. It is gross. Just earlier. They are mature, actually. You just have to get to know them better. Your lunchtime dose of dumbassery. Live from the Ingalls studio. It is ESPN Asheville, 92.9 FM, 880 AM, 1400. And the sportsocracy heard everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Seen everywhere in the Ingalls studio on YouTube. Go to thesportsocracy.com. Click the live video link. Subscribe to the channel. That way you can join us in the chat. Get your thoughts on uh, whatever the topics of the day are. Hey, you got a topic that you want us to talk about. You can always throw those out there. Who knows where this story will go? It's part of the... uh, whole sportsocracy thing the democratic republic of sports you want to talk about it that's what we're talking about and y'all clear we want to talk about football the, the league meetings have been going on down in orlando and we've had a few stories come out already we talked about justin fields and the gm of the of the bears ryan poles being surprised that they didn't get more interest in justin fields um some of the numbers being thrown out around about his next contract are hilarious to me as well. Like what? Uh, oh, there are people that believe that he will be the next mega contract. That he will he will get like top three money. And those, possibly the dumbest football fans I've ever heard. So he's going to get a, a mega deal. $50 yes. million dollars a year. Yes. And he was acquired... For a sixth round pick, make that math math to me. But that's why. But but see, that's why because they knew they'd have to pay him that much, and that's why teams only traded the sixth round pick to get him because yep. they knew that they were going to have to pay him two hundred and fifty million dollars for the next four years. Or that whatever. is that is possibly the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No doubt, no doubt. But this is these these are the these are the waters that we swim in. These these are the people that we try to talk to or talk yeah, some that, sense into. I hope you're not swimming in that water. 
Because that's a pool, and it's got pee in it. <laughs> um, Jim Harbaugh sticking up for his guy. This is J.J. McCarthy. He's the best quarterback in this NFL draft. Does that do anything for you? All right, Jim. <laughs> let's Let's go some real talk here, buddy, okay? <laughs> If you really believe that, you need to be institutionalized. Now, I would love to strap him to a lie detector and and see that thing just explode when he did say it. Nobody believes J.J. McCarthy's the best quarterback in this class. Says he's incredible. He's 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 big market, small market, cold weather, hot weather. It don't matter. Quote: I think he plays quarterback the best of any quarterback in this draft said the pro day was the best he'd ever seen well i mean he's been he's been living around michigan quarterback pro day so that actually might be true (laughs) right that one for shea patterson really didn't go well did it yeah shea patterson which was attended by six xfl teams i don't know that that was the high water i don't even think all six in xfl teams showed up well there are eight so that's why i said six no no uh, I think that was. I think they had some representatives from the CFL there. No well. doubt, the there Argonauts. was also. A, I believe there was also a representative of the Home Depot. Wanted to see how he could throw a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw hammers at the Home Depot. That's how people get hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Best quarterback in the draft, Jeremy. JJ McCarthy. You're just missing out on it. He's got all the tools. I mean, I just, I just didn't trust him you know put my season on his back well because that's not what harbaugh does i but, know that's not I his mean, style look, of football but is, still it's 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 just weird okay it's weird that he says oh he's the best quarterback in the draft well why didn't why why didn't you use him more this is the easiest game of who wants you to know that ever because it's the guy that said it no doubt jj mccarthy's the best quarterback in the draft somebody should really trade up here to five or even better, trade up to four so I can get my choice of receiver. No, we're not going. We're not doing that though. We we got our uh, we got our sights set higher. It's the New England Patriots. They got that number three pick on the board, or excuse me, on the table. It's been on the table. That's the worst kept secret in the world. I have a feeling that New England, New England is the one that I continuously look at and go, "Are you going to do something stupid?" Because I feel like the more you talk behind closed doors, the more likely it becomes that you're about to do something really stupid. And we're going to be there, and I'm going to have to, okay? <laughs> like, I have to do something with my face because my face is very expressive. <laughs> uh, no, you can boo along with all the other Jets fans. Oh, no. If they take J.J. McCarthy at three, I will not be booing. I'll be standing on my chair going, yes, greatest pick ever. <laughs> good pick. We have not seen a pick this good since Kyle Brady. If the Patriots select him. Yes. If the Jets select him, I will set my green tux on fire. <laughs> Your green tux? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Got to go dapper. Yep. I'm a dapper Dan man. Okay. All right. All right. Um, John Lynch. Today at the owners meet or the uh, league meeting down in Orlando, says that uh, Brandon Ayuk apparently he's not on the table. He wants to keep him in the building, or is that just I really want to keep this guy? Make me an offer I can't refuse. Well, I, I just I always laugh when people hear things like that and they go, "Well, that means it's not happening." How many times do coaches and GMs have to lie to you before you go? You should believe about a third of what comes out of their mouth what's he supposed to say is he supposed to go full ryan poles of yes we must trade him immediately we have eight dollars left our name i've been eating mcdoubles and mcchickens since january we need to save some money could somebody please come give me a first round draft pick for him of course he said that now i will say the the chatter has quieted down i don't know exactly why that is the other bizarre thing about Ayuk is that they really only seem to have one real suitor. Pittsburgh was legit interested. I didn't hear anybody else that 
I heard there were offers coming from San Francisco, not so much that other teams were pursuing Ayuk. So they were actively shopping, just didn't have any takers. Or from, many. From takers. what I was told, if Pittsburgh would have agreed to move down from 20 to 31 and given up another pick, I cannot tell you where that pick was. I don't know. That he would be a stealer. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure there's a pick in this draft that I would have gone, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. I mean, obviously, I don't want it to be a two. I would like to hold on to a two because I'm getting ready to have to pay the guy. But, I mean, he's a legit top 32 wide receiver in this league. I think he's a top 20 wide receiver in this league. I think he's much closer to to the top 20 than he is just being in the top 32. Ooh, my that's, question, a, that's a fun game. What? Keep talking. Oh, my question is why? Can I not make this work? Can I not make the numbers work somehow to my benefit like every other team seems to be able to do? Is there no more money to be pushed around? I would look at I would look at Brandon Ayuk, if I were John Lynch, as an indispensable piece. Because the only times or or I I won't say the only times, I will say most of the time when my quarterback looked special it was because he was connecting with brandon i it wasn't because of debo it wasn't well it wasn't necessarily to george they they, they do completely different things i think he's very relevant i also think he's the easiest receiver to replace who Uh, is i eat and sleep football said the draft has 800 brandon i i do not agree with that in any way and it might have five there might, as a matter of fact, I could probably get all the way to. There might be eight because this is a special wide receiver class. I want to ask you a question on okay. All right, I've called off the ones that are obvious: mm-hmm. Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, AJ. Brown. If I say one that you disagree with, stop. Me. That are better than him. That are better than Brandon. Ayo. Okay. Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, AJ Brown, Stephon Diggs, DK Metcalf, Debo Samuel, Michael Pittman Jr. Terry McLaurin, Calvin Ridley, T. Higgins, DJ Moore, Mike Evans, Keenan Allen, and Amari Cooper. Did I say anybody there that you really ruffle at? No. This is Calvin. The high- I think after last year, Calvin might have taken a step behind Brandon. I've seen Calvin Ridley do better things than I've ever seen Brandon Ayuk do. Now, is that could that be in the past? Sure. Yeah. This is the highest paid receiver list. Okay. Now I'm going to go into that second tier. And you tell me how many of these guys you would take over him. I'll skip the obvious ones. I'm not going to feed you Alan Lazard or Darnell Mooney. Thank you. Alan Lazard. Oh, seeing him on this list gives me the angina. It hits me in my soul and not a place that I like. Chris Godwin. I'll take I up. I tend to agree. Deontay Johnson. Nope, still I up. Tend to agree. Christian Kirk. Nope, still there. DeAndre Hopkins. Historically, sure. I don't Age? know that I agree on that. Consideration? I don't know about that. I don't know that I agree on that. Mike Williams. Oh, yeah. Mm. There's a bunch of guys that haven't gotten paid. So basically for you, Brandon Ayuk's about 17 in the league. 16, 17 in the league. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's where I thought you would fall. And I'm not, honestly... I'm honestly not going to say that you're wrong. Mm-hmm. I'll also not say that eating sleep football is, is wrong, that there could be eight Brandon Ayuk's in this class. He prefaced his comment with that it was hyperbole, but there could legit be eight, and I don't know that I disagree. Okay. And you say he's at the most replaceable position or one of in this draft? I'll take your word for it. There are a I lot just feel of like that's extra receivers in this class. A lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, ask yourself this. Would you rather have Keon Coleman for peanuts or Brandon Ayuk? Because for me, it's Keon Coleman. I wouldn't even think about it. Oh, yeah, if it's straight up for the money. That's the point. That's the point. San Francisco's looking around going, and, and all right, I'll go I'll go a little deep divey on the, uh, on the old mullet mailbag here. San Francisco's looking around right now going, what's going to be available at 31? Because trade partners are going to be a little bit more difficult to find. 
Because the only quarterback that's likely to be there at 31 is Michael Penix, and I'm not sure teams are trading up to get that extra year. I think he may fall into the same boat that Hen and Hooker did of we're going to talk about teams doing it and nobody's going to have legit interest in it. I feel like San Francisco is going to be looking around right now because who's the name that I have put with them, I think, in every mock I've done, if not all but one? I don't know. I'll give you a hint. He's a big old – he's a BDD out of Duke. Oh, Barton. Yes. Graham Barton. Yeah, he won't be there at 31. Okay. I'll just go ahead and tell you. Uh, I I feel very confident based on his interactions that he has some form of a guarantee. We don't do those as much in the NFL as we do them in the NBA. I feel like he's been told, if you're on the board, we're taking you. And I think it was by the Detroit Lions. Because he seems to have legitimately no interest in anybody after them. So, reading tea leaves a little bit. Mm-hmm. But if you're looking at Barton, you're looking at the other linemen that would fit in that offense, then you kind of start looking around going, hmm. Hmm. What are we going to do? This receiver is going to be plentiful right there. So if we could trade up to 20, we could get our guy, which is Barton, I believe. Mm-hmm. And then we could take one of these receivers that falls to us with one of those later picks. Replace Iuk. It's not going to be as good, but it's going to be way cheaper. Then we move off Iuk's contract. We don't have to pay him because we've got an extension coming up with Purdy that we're going to have to probably attend to next offseason. I mean, look, the fi- the financials of the NFL, everybody always makes that little joke that, well, the salary cap's not real. No, the salary cap's 100% real. And you can play the shell game all you want to, but when you get to the end of that line, it's it's going to be ugly. Mm-hmm. And and I feel like San Francisco's looking around going, we've got to prop this kid up. Well, we tried to do it with the defense, and nobody seems to want to be a part of a rotation. You could ask a Jet fan. Um, I, I could have told you that. It's, it's been a bit of a chore. Right. There's, I mean, look, the Jets have rotated half of their defensive linemen every year since Rob Sala has been there. Mm-hmm. It's hard to get guys to sign up to play forty percent of snaps. Not only do we we got to prop this kid up, but we also need to do the propping at a at a reasonable value. Yes. And paying twenty million dollars to another wide receiver higher, you're too low. Twenty five. I would say so. Okay. Twenty five million. Well, put it this way: you very quickly said he was better than Calvin Ridley, who just got twenty four. Yeah, that's a good and point. yes, the industry does view that as a bit of an overpay, but it ain't that much of an overpay. No, and and that's a great point. So twenty five million dollars, I will stand corrected on that. To another wide receiver, when we're already paying Debo, mm-hmm. eventually it becomes a luxury that you can't afford. Yeah, and when you look into the draft class and go, that's the guy I have the best shot at replacing. That's probably where you go. Mm-hmm. I would say everything that John Lynch said is accurate. They don't want to trade Brandon Ayuk. They may have to. And they may he may have said that trying to get the Pittsburgh Steelers or whoever the case may be off the compensation he's looking for. More. Yeah. Don't take what coaches and GMs say as gospel. A lot of times, this is like politics. I'm going to say what I have to say, and then when I get behind a closed door, if I've learned anything this year specifically – a lot of things are settled over a cocktail at a at a predetermined restaurant in whatever city we're in. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's how that's how these things work, mm-hmm. and that's how this happened. That's how this story came out today. Speaking to a small group of reporters on Monday afternoon, it doesn't happen wide open in the podium. Yeah, they were both together when they were asked about this. John Lynch and Mike Tomlin. They shared a nice little laugh about it, and John just went, yeah, I think we want to keep on keep a hold of him. Meanwhile, Mike Tomlin's standing by going, oh, this just got more expensive. Oh, I need another receiver. It's not George Pickens. <laughs> You're in the sportsocracy, and this is CSPN Asheville. If your credit card bills have gotten out of hand, call Consolidated Credit now. If the interest rates on your credit cards are so high, it'll take years to get out of debt. Call Consolidated Credit now. They've helped over 10 million people. Without destroying your credit, they can reduce your interest rates, lower your total payments up to 50% to get you out of debt fast. For a free consultation, call Consolidated Credit now. The program works. Call 800-988-0848. 800-988-0848. 800-988-0848. 
Consolidated Credit Solutions Incorporated, 5701 West Sunrise Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33313. Licensed by the New York Department of Financial Services and by the Vermont Department of Financial Regulation. Kansas CSO 0019051. Maryland DM 1492. Oregon DM 892. Licensed by the Virginia State Corporation Commission License Number DCA3. Service may adversely affect the individual's credit. Non-payment of debt may lead to additional finance charges or collections activity, including legal action. Actual interest rates, length of program, and monthly payment reductions will vary by consumer and creditor. Yours could be higher or lower. Not a loan company. We do not lend money. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Unlike other health concerns, mental illness is not always easy to see. Depression won't show up on an eye chart, and you won't find PTSD by looking at a thermometer. Sorting out a mental health concern takes professional diagnosis and treatment. Anxiety won't just go away under a bandage. If you or a loved one has a mental health concern, call 1-800-662-HELP for free and confidential information and treatment referral. Learn more at samhsa.gov support. It's the moment you dream of. The moment you work I sell or invest in real estate in the mountains, you need to call the agents at Clarissa Sells WNC brokered by eXp Realty. Check us out online at clarissasellswnc.com. And did I mention that Clarissa Sells WNC loves teachers? We love teachers so much, we're giving back 25% of our commission at closing. For more information, contact us today at 828-774-6343 or clarissasellswnc at gmail.com. We're back counting down to kickoff. Let's look at today's three keys to premium pre-gaming with Beast Unleashed, presented by Monster Brewing. Number one, beat the heat. Unleash the beast with bold, familiar flavors, zero caffeine and zero sugar. Number two, running the option. There's four to choose from. White haze, peach perfect, scary berries, and my personal favorite, mean green. And number three at 6% ABV, max protect. Always drink responsibly and you must be 21 or over. Beast Unleashed, available at your local retailer. Not completing high school is more of a social thing than it was an academic thing. Even though all these years have passed, I still had that longing to have my diploma. At age 30, Carissa finished her high school diploma. If you're even considering getting your high school diploma, you can do it. No one gets a diploma alone. If you're thinking of finishing your high school diploma, you have help. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. The Sportsocracy. Ice up, son. Ice up. Sound advice. Ice up. For anybody who, you know, might not be great at this whole wagering thing. We all know, we've told you time and time again, since the beginning of this month, that legal sports gambling is now live in the state of North Carolina. Um, in fact, saw a story, it was posted on WLOS over the weekend as they were, you know, going around the bars doing the story. Oh, look, every, everybody's on their phones doing their DraftKings accounts. Yeah, uh, one industry expert said that there is very serious thought that North Carolina may end up being a top five state for legal gambling revenue in the entire country. So we were at the the Village Porch, 51 North Merriman Avenue, the official watch home of all things sports of this here program. I lost count of how many people came up to me and asked, hey, you're the DraftKings guy, aren't you? I went, well, you know, I, I mean, we have a show too. But I, I'm glad that you know me as the DraftKings guy. I, I mean, I am decked out in the I was going to say you were wearing the DraftKings apparel. It's very comfortable, and mm-hmm. I like it a lot. 
The Oregon Trail shirt was awesome. I love this. This one's actually softer. I'm wearing the North Carolina one. It's got the state logo with the DraftKings crown on Raleigh. This is nothing going to be finer. The NC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Solid. mm -hmm. In uh, Carolina blue. Nice, wonderful colors as well. Carolina blue. Yeah. Uh, But I I do feel like, you know, we've we've got a a short segment here because we rambled on uh, in in the last one. Shocker. I feel like this would be a good time for me to give a, a PSA. And it's a PSA of I had a lot of people send me messages, texts, whatever the case may be, of why did they score this meaningless basket that cost me on my parlay? Okay, I I have to tell you something as the DraftKings guy. I, I have to tell you something. You ever been to a crappy hotel in Vegas? No. They all have gold fixtures for a reason. Because they're really, really good at this. Which is why I cannot advise this strong enough. You should learn the beauty that is the alternate line. It would blow your mind sometimes how little an extra point and a half will actually cost you Mm -hmm. on the number. Mm -hmm. And how many times you will hit wagers because you bought back that point and a half. I don't do a lot of straight up spreads. I'm more of a money line guy. If I'm going to bet a team, I expect them to win. Right. Because I've been got by that too many times. If they're up four, they don't care. They don't care. It does not matter to, to a team playing in the tournament if we win by four or six. Now, if a ball caroms off the rim and there's nobody between them and the basket, it's still an 18-year-old kid with the opportunity to go highlight real dunk in a game that they're about to win. Always take these things into account or, when you're wagering. Mm-hmm. Or it's reserves. Reserves, Good, oh yeah. reserves trying College to score. basketball especially, bum, you get into bum squad time, there are no on this planet bigger card-carrying captains of Team Gets Mine because the entire bench is sitting there. Scr- How many coaches' kids yeah. have we seen over the course of the last four days where they're screaming their name, just, please let him get one bucket in an NCAA tournament that mm-hmm. he can talk about forever? Mm-hmm. We send in the, the, the blue team for the Carolina Tar Heels. That was not what we always called it, but, you know, whatever. You well, know. you know, I mean, we all know. I mean, I have two friends that played on that particular team. So, but you, they send in the blue team, and those guys. They, I mean, you got guys on the bench rooting for them to score. You oh, no, want no. them to get in the stat book. You want to be able to say, "I scored in an NCAA tournament game." It is just, you know. Obviously, this is I I I don't do crimes, gambling wise, and. So I've never really paid that much attention to spreads until I started with DraftKings Sportsbook. And it bit me four times in a span of four days. Four leg parlays, trying to play by the poodle rule. Lost every damn one of them by half a point. The poodle rule is a great rule, by the way. Yes. Your parlay should be like a poodle. No more than four legs, or it's weird. Or well, it's, what what no, is it? The exact rule is: poodle has six letters, parlay has six letters, and the other thing they have in common is if they have a fifth leg, it's probably going to get in the way. Ah, okay. That's not a hard and fast rule because I didn't say it's definitely going to get in the way. Right. It's just there's a chance. The more opportunities that you have, so I was trying to be good playing by the poodle rule: four leggers. Well, there's another element of this, and it's why I wanted to talk about this in, in this segment right here. So you've now had two weeks to, to really lay into these lines, and you had a full week of very extensive wagering on college basketball. Did you notice something? Was there anything you noticed about over-unders and spreads? It's a really good way. It's kind of a cheat code what the final score is going to be. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. If I know a team is Carolina against Michigan State, perfect example. I had R.J. Davis threes. I hit a a parlay with four three-point shooters. Yeah, I'm not ready to talk about it. It was 
uh, the kid from Oakland, the the Uber driver. Yeah, Golkey. Golkey. That kid has never seen a shot he didn't like. Oh, I'm I'm covered. Don't care. Fire away. Hit six of them the other night. Yeah, in a loss. R.J. Davis. R.J. Davis is the only consistent three point shooter on that team. The number was diminished, so his number of threes needed was only two and a half. He was never not hitting three threes in that game, ever. And when I looked at the final score that Vegas had, I looked at it and went, is there any possibility that Carolina's going to score 75 points and R.J. Davis not have three threes? Nope. Bet that. Yep. If you want to go same game parlay, it really helps to, in some parameter, know what the final score is going to be. And you'd be shocked how often it's spot on. Mm Mm-hmm. There were three separate tournament games. Vegas got it exactly right. Yep. The spread was in between the the final number and the over under was spot on. Yeah, that uh, my my big screw up in the uh Carolina Michigan State game was Michigan State over 69 and a half. I was about to say not betting the bejeebers out of the fact that Carolina was going to beat them like a kettle drum. No, I did. I did. But I also had team totals. It was easy to me. Carolina over 79 and a half. Sure, we're beating the snot out of these guys. 69 and a half. Final score. 85-69. Was the fourth and final of the weekend. And I protested yesterday. You you also (laughs) have to know that odds makers will hedge their bets with team totals. Yep. So if you get a team total that's a little off from the spread... I should tell you something. Because mm-hmm. odds makers hedge too. It's not just us. It's not just you that looks at a bet that you're actively losing. James Madison in the first half. Bad Duke. Bad Duke hard. This is good. It's going to get ugly. It's going to be so bad. Odds makers do that too. There's a reason Vegas has gold fixtures. And there's also a reason that I am so unbelievably happy. It's because we can talk about this and it's legal here in the state of North Carolina because DraftKings Sportsbook is here in the Tar Heel State. If you're watching us on the YouTube stream, you can see my lovely shirt that says nothing could be finer than to be wagering on DraftKings Sportsbook in Carolina in the morning. But for a limited time, new customers who sign up with our promo code WPEK and bet $5 will receive $250 instantly in bonus bets. Whether you prefer playing player props, which I had a lot of people over the weekend tell me they were doing and hitting well, uh, money lines, parlays, whatever your flavor is, you can do it with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code WPEK. Bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code WPEK. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only, new customers only. Subject to regulatory licensing requirements. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit wagering and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. This is your Exergen Temporal Scanner weather forecast on ESPN Asheville. Dry weather will continue here as we get into the afternoon with some partial sunshine. Uh, we may squeak out a sprinkle of rain. The gusty winds out of the south, though. 60 degrees. Not quite as chilly tonight. We'll drop to the low 40s. Uh, quite breezy, though. With the winds gusting 30 plus. A few showers around tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon. Breezy and cool. High only 50. Showers tomorrow night. Wednesday, a chance of showers. A little warmer in the upper 60s. I'm Eddie Rollins, Race Digic from the Weather Channel. This report is sponsored by Try the New Limited Edition Orange Dreamsicle Frosty at Wendy's. Try the New Orange Dreamsicle Frosty at Wendy's. It's like walking down recent memory lane. To have Orange Dreamsicle Frosty in our timeline is truly something special. And we shouldn't let the moment pass us by. And be quick, it's only available for a limited time. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla of Trenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Doug Gottlieb here. March is here. That means chick days, planning your garden, and... 
college basketball. Just like in basketball, every team needs its MVP. When it comes to team members who go above and beyond, Tractor Supply has the winning lineup. Our home team at Tractor Supply is excited to support your hometown. We're proud to be part of the excitement of college basketball tournament season. And our home team looks forward to serving your hometown. Because every day is game day at Tractor Supply. Next Step Recovery in Asheville provides safe and structured homes and a full clinical outpatient program for men struggling with drugs and alcohol. Currently in network with Blue Cross Blue Shield and Aetna. Healing from addiction is a journey. NextStepRecovery.com Spring is here, and so is fire season. Careless backyard burning is the leading cause of wildfires in our state. Follow these tips from the North Carolina Forest Service. Leading cause of wildfires in our state is without bans or restrictions. Don't burn on dry, windy days. Keep your burn pile small, not tall. Have a hose, bucket, steel rake, and shovel handy to toss dirt on a fire. Learn more at ncforestservice.gov. ncforestservice.gov. In a developing story, we've learned that after decades of service to boys and girls everywhere, the Easter Bunny has stepped down. He has identified his replacement as a local rabbit who has been seen frequenting area Ingalls markets in recent days. He has been stocking up on Ingalls Easter candy, holiday hams, farm fresh eggs, and Easter lilies and balloons. And they also say that Easter magic indeed starts at Ingalls. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the mountains, you need to call the agents at Clarissa Sells WNC brokered by eXp Realty. Check us out online at clarissasellswnc.com. Download our free app on Google Play or the App Store. Type in Asheville Home Search. You'll be able to connect with our team and see all the available homes for sale in our area. For more information, contact us today at 828-774-6343 or clarissasellswnc at gmail.com. It is ESPN Asheville. We are back in the sportsocracy, and it's time for the most important message of the day. Don't do crimes. Do not do crimes. Unless you're really sleepy and it shouldn't be crimes. Like I, I'm getting more and more okay. Just I need a nap <laughs> Yeah, very no. badly. Still no crimes. Uh, being sleepy does not give you the excuse to do I don't more think crimes. of all people you're entitled to tell me no on that one. Uh, what are you, a cop? <laughs> Zolfo <laughs> Springs, Florida. Yeah, that's right. Uh, gunfight came out between a, uh, or broke out, I guess, between a Florida deputy and a suspect because, well, you know, that's what suspects do sometimes. Cops show up, want to arrest you, uh, fight or flight. Sometimes you got a little, a little fight from the other side. In this particular case, though, the, ca- the uh, sheriff's office got a little more help than they bargained for so they go to the scene of this domestic dispute a man who has been charged before has a temporary restraining order a domestic violence order against him an incident has happened they get called out well so they got to the scene also at the scene was the father of the woman who had been harmed in this scenario when the suspect squared off with the cops and started shooting back and forth what did dad do he joined the fight he went and got his nine millimeter and started shooting back at the guy with the cop so now here here's the thing that's crimes don't do crimes and now you've got a sheriff's officer in, or a deputy in a hell of a predicament here because i don't know who's shooting at who and what do I do? <laughs> what do I do in this scenario? Where do I turn my attention? Pretty sure I would just let this one play out on its own because this is not going to go your way. You can't just join a gunfight and be like, yeah, I'm on your side. Like this is the old West or something. Well, Jim, grab your gun. Come on. We need to go get. That's not how this works. So not only is this man facing charges for the domestic assault and all of the things, burglary, uh, you know, assault on a police officer, all of the things, uh, now dad is in trouble as well. Just a helpful PSA for the dads out there that want to defend your daughter or your son or whoever. 
cops are shooting at somebody who harmed your kid, it's not okay to shoot back. I heard nothing wrong with what he just said. And in my head, I was going, really? Can't say that I probably wouldn't have done the same thing. <laughs> my story is not that weird of a crime story until I put in the detail that I omitted when I told this the fir- when I tell this the first time. It's from Harris County. That's Houston, Texas. Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez did a press conference. Mm-hmm. Said we got three bank robbers on the loose. They were apprehended in very short order. We do not have their names, but they are charged with robbing a Wells Fargo bank in the Greens Point area of North Houston on March 14th. The FBI posted a bank surveillance image of the three bandits. They were all wearing hoodies. They were inside the bank lobby. They passed a threatening note to a teller, telling the teller that they needed an undisclosed amount of cash in a bag. Teller gives them the bag. They take off on foot. Mm -hmm. They were identified by the bank image even though they were in hoodies and had things over their face, they were they were identified. What am I leaving out here? They were wearing name tags. Nope. Leaving out their ages. The oldest one was 16. Mm. The other two were 12 and 11. Oh, my. I also left out that they were identified by their parents. <laughs> mm-hmm. A, good on the parents. Yeah, absolutely. If my kid's dumb enough to rob a bank, she bet him. your keister. Take him. Y'all go handle him now. Son, did you ever see the, the show Scared Straight? Avoid <laughs> Crazy Chris. I I have 12-year-olds at home. I don't even have, like breakfast. I have been trying to instruct them on the FAFO scale. And that, my friends, is about a 7,000 on the FA scale. No, Robin Banks at 12. And 11. You left out 11. Oh, yeah. That's an awful story. That's terrible. I I've never understood. You know, there, there are certain crimes that, look, I, I, don't ever, I don't ever encourage crimes. Do the segment. Don't do crimes. Just follow the law. There are certain crimes that I understand slightly more than others. I never understood. I'm going to go rob a bank. Nope. Never works I out in the end. Never understood that guy. Nope. How do you think this is going to go? You think this is going to go? I, I don't know what bills he took, and we have no way to track that. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm just trying to think in the history of, of 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 time. There haven't been very many cases of, hey, this guy robbed a bank and he got away with it and lived happily ever after. I mean, it's just happened. moseyed himself onto a Caribbean island somewhere. I'm sure it has happened before. It's very rare. Exactly. They all they generally always end in the same way. And if you do get away with it, guess what? You can't stop. Ever. Right. Remember how many stories have we had over the years of, you know, serial bank robber? Because you get away with it once, you think you can get away with it forever. But guess what? You can't. John Dellinger didn't get away with it. I mean, he did for a long time. But in the end, he got caught. You're going to get caught, too. Uh, Gamut fan said, with the uh, decreasing usage of physical cash, I'm just confused by the logistics of it. Like, what are you going to spend that much cash on? Exactly. That's, That's the point. Oh, I got all this money. What am I going to spend it on? I'm going to go buy a new car in cash. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so many sold cars, you know, it's uh, it's not that easy. No? I no. can't just show up with a duffel bag with, you know, $120,000 in it and go, yeah. hey, give me that Cadillac or uh, whatever. You know what the first thing people do when you show up with First of all, most dealerships won't even take cash. If you do show up with a bag of cash, the first thing they do is go look to see if this particular stack is uh, missing from somewhere. Uh Uh-huh. Because there's a registry that will tell you that. It's all numbered. Is that why they put the numbers on it? Well, I mean, unmarked bills would be difficult. There you go. It's not a a thing. 
that you'd want to do. Indeed. The uh, only pe- look, the well, only people in this government that can spend cash and not ever tell anybody what they spend it on is the government. Mm-hmm. That's a very good point. That's why I don't trust it. <laughs> That's why you don't trust it. Never trust a guy who's got a city name in his name. Never trust the government. Really? No, that guy named Dallas, he's not... He's, he's not out there. Oh, no. If his name is a city, that's probably fine. If his name is Vegas Vinny, you probably shouldn't play Texas Hold'em. I see what you're saying. And if his name is Jersey Jerry, then you probably shouldn't turn your back on him. Because <laughs> that dude's worked a few union jobs that, that guy, he didn't show oh, up to. Wow. I feel like you might get a... That's a at uh, ESPN Draft Nerd on, on the Twitter machine. Mafia loves me. If it exists, mm-hmm. who knows? <laughs> we'll never know, right? Look, I put a few of their children through college. I think I'm fine. I think I can make a joke or two. Sports gambling wasn't always legal in the state of North Carolina. Where do you think I came up with that theory about Vegas, Vinny? Uh, just a hat rack, my mm-hmm. friend. Uh-huh. Uh, just a hat rack. Aha. Uh-huh. You know, you're the tales of your past lives it's quite concerning to me like it is a it is a wonder you're not dead yet me yeah why would i be dead well i mean drinking yourself to death is one one of those i'm a warrior let that be known you're you're a warrior he's a warrior from west virginia hey by the by the way it's legal now in west virginia making making uh your own white lightning they made it legal now. They passed a bill the other day that will allow every household in West Virginia to distill your own liquor. You just can only make five gallons a year. Or else. Crimes. That's crimes. Then you run into the revenue man. Oh, and yeah. that's a problem. Oh, yeah. Because in West Virginia, they're going to tell the revenue man about any of that. <laughs> You think I have a hearty distrust of the government? Let's take a trip up up, up yonder just a ways, and you'll find some people that you show up in a car they don't know, and you might have to hide. But you want to talk about useless pieces of legislation. Oh, yeah. Anyone who was already distilling their own liquor in West Virginia, one, Mr. GovCo did not need you to tell him that he could do that. (laughs) And two, they damn sure ain't just making five gallons of it. I can tell you as somebody that spent quite a bit of time in that state, uh, that legislation came down. People saw that in the paper and went, it's awful cute. You thought I was going to (laughs) ask. Jesco White does five gallons a week. Jesco White does five (laughs) gallons an hour. (laughs) Oh, uh, that's your hero. He lived a tough life. He lived a tough life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are in the sportsocracy, and this is CSPN Asheville, 92.9 FM, 880 AM, and 1400. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, back to close it out for the Monday edition. When we think about our health, we usually think about exercising and eating healthier, but don't forget that part of your overall health is your dental health. And y'all, if it's been six months or longer since your last visit, you need to get in to see the dentist. And Asheville Smiles Cosmetic and Family Dentistry, they offer general family dentistry as well as Invisalign orthodontics, Botox, fillers, sleep apnea screenings, and more. Dr. Merrill and the staff at Asheville Smiles, they're taking new patients, so get your smile back on track. World-class dental care with a hometown feel, AshleSmiles.com. Our state's future begins with our students. That's why the North Carolina Education Lottery has contributed over $10 billion to education. Through scholarships, school construction, support staff, and pre-K programs, lottery dollars move our state forward, helping students become the best versions of themselves. Visit movingncstudentsforward.com and share how your student or school community has benefited for a chance to earn $2,000 for your story. Must be 18 to play. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Hey, it's Mark Starling from First News on 570, and I've been going to Summit Dental in Asheville with Dr. Chad Reinhardt for years. They're fantastic, but you don't have to take my word for it. Check out some of these five-star reviews from Google. 
After searching for a dentist for months, I finally found this place. I needed some serious dental work, and they got me in within a week. If you're anxious about going to the dentist, I assure you, this is the place that can give you a new outlook on having dental work done. They're upfront, honest, and caring people who only want the best for their patients. You gotta check out Summit Dental in Asheville with Dr. Chad Reinhart, home of the comfort menu. iHeartRadio Earth is here with a new way to enjoy our beautiful planet. Reduce your impact on the environment this fall by packing a waste-free lunch for school or work. Avoid foods with excessive packaging. Use reusable cutlery, napkins, cups, bags, and containers, and recycle or compost any waste when possible. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash Earth. iHeartRadio Earth is here with little tips for a healthier planet. When dining out or shopping at the grocery store, ask for sustainable seafood. By choosing sustainable seafood, you can help reduce overfishing, bycatch, loss of top predators, illegal fishing, and other harmful environmental impacts. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living, or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash Earth. If cleanliness is next to godliness, look around the car right now. Is that very godly? Look, life comes at you fast, but so does WNC Auto Detailing. They have the tools to make your interior look like it's coming off the showroom floor. You don't believe me? Check them out on Instagram. All that filth and years of stains disappear. WNC Auto Detailing does full interior and exterior details with paint correction, and they do wax and ceramic coatings. Call WNC Auto Detailing at 455-3700. Premium care with a Southern hospitality touch. Showtime Sports and Mountain Graphics have teamed up under new ownership by an Asheville native to better serve her community with the finest custom apparel and unique branded items at the best price. Showtime Sports and Mountain Graphics can customize whatever you, your team, business, or local group may need through high-quality screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving right here in Asheville. Free personal delivery within Buncombe County and a reduced delivery fee anywhere in Western North Carolina. Visit ShowtimeSportsAVL.com and MountainGraphicsAVL.com. Your one-stop custom apparel shops. We hadn't done this in a minute, but now that sports gambling is legal right here in the state of North Carolina, it's time to get back to a five on it with the NBA. Justin Parton, happy birthday, first of all. Asked for a birthday parlay, so I whipped up a, a, an nba -er. This slate is god-awful. There are like 11 games on the slate. There are three that are below double-digit spreads. So I cannot emphasize this enough. Wager, don't watch. But we go six-legger. Oh. This is one you should not put more than five on. But since we're only putting five on it, we'll bypass the poodle rule. I'll go over 206 and a half Hornets Cavaliers. Spurs plus the 12 and a half at home against the Suns. Victor Webanyama is a dude. And they really struggle with big guys. Uh, over 226 and a half Wizards Bulls. Over 213 Grizzlies Nuggets. Uh, the Nuggets might score that by themselves. Sixers plus the nine over 233 and a half between the Pacers and the Clippers. Put five on that. That will pay you $248.41. Well, let's go. That's a hefty sum. And I'm going to put that $5 on it right there. And we'll forget that <laughs> happened and hope that's a fun little surprise in the morning. <laughs> Good for you. Um, and happy birthday to Justin Parton. Indeed. Hopefully that's the best present that you get. I mean, it what a, a free 248 mm. doubloons. Exactly. I was on a Can't pretty good for much more than that. I was on a pretty good little stretch of parlays this weekend. It's, you know, it's just, it restores my soul to be able to live bet. And I mean, really live bet. Mm-hmm. I mean, trust me, I knew the difference, but when I can do it from my couch, it's just so different. Did any of the odds change for you? Uh, or or I guess did... Uh, here, I'll give you the new odds for the national championship. UConn. Mm -hmm. plus, two, plus 210. Take it right now. Right now. Just run to DraftKings Sportsbook, take that right now. Anybody else you'd be willing to put a wager on? Carolina. Carolina is... the only is, team that I think can get in their way. Carolina currently... On the DraftKings Sportsbook app. 1,200? It's 11. It's dropped. It's dropped a little bit, but 
plus 1100 for North Carolina to win the national title. That's a, that's a pretty sizable one as well. And then there's Gonzaga at plus 2500. I'll pass. They were playing really good this past weekend. Yeah, they were also playing two teams that aren't in their, weren't yeah, in their weight class. That's that that's true as well. One of them was missing their best player. The other had a non-conference win against the Mississippi College of Women. <laughs> you don't think that they're going to be a, that that they're hot enough? No. To make a run to continue to make a run here? No. I, I mean, don't. they're taking on Purdue next in the Sweet 16 and you know, there's not a single guy on that team that can do anything with Zach Eady. No. But I don't know how those guards can kill you. No, if I was going to take a flyer on anybody else, it'd be Arizona. Currently plus 900. I'm just dumbfounded at how different of a player Caleb Love is. I really am. I'm dumbfounded by it. Now, I still saw old Caleb Love. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, you can't hit water off a bridge? Just keep firing. Fine. Let's Caleb Love away. Never seen a shot he didn't like. But has he changed any as, as a player? or yes. Or is it just that he's on a team where he doesn't have an R.J. Davis to share the, 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 the three-point game with? No. His game has definitively changed. He's, he's more in control. I, I look at that Arizona team. First of all, they have a guard that, good Lord, I need him to do something by his face. He did the bullwinkle nanny nanny boo boo thing, and I went. I would literally have knocked seventy of your teeth out. Did he really? No doubt, because he got a, a flagrant on somebody that, that was totally bogus. Mm-hmm. He did the little nanny nanny boo boo thing, and I told my wife, I was like, "See, that's why I can't play anymore. That and the knees and the fact that I can't breathe, because uh, that dude would he, he, his teeth would have come back." Looking like a jack o' lantern for you, uh, for you other ACC fans. Uh, Clemson is plus eight thousand, and you can get NC State right now plus nine thousand to win the national championship. Pass. You, just, <laughs> you never know. You just put a fiver on it and see what happens. Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah, this is one of those times. Just stick to the favorite. It's so obvious. Yep. The teams that are really good, the meaty clackers of this tournament was completely different. By the way, did you see the fun stat from the uh, the the women's tournament? No. If you had bet every women's game in the first round and bet nothing but favorites, how mm-hmm. many games did you lose? None. One. One. You could have taken money line favorites in thirty two games and won thirty one times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was one eleven seed that won. Other than that, it was all the lower seeds. I've never seen anything like it. I told my dad yesterday, he said he wanted to, you know, he was thinking about laying something on that Carolina-Carolina game yesterday in the women's tournament. And I, I went, unless it's South Carolina minus 50, you may not want to do that. And they were down like 40 at halftime, and I went, well, I was Uh-oh. joking. I was joking. I was kidding. I was kidding. I, I didn't, hope you didn't do that. I didn't mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to speak that into existence. You should have seen that coming. Just like you should have seen that, for the most part, this tournament has been very chalky. It's going to be for a chalk only, For only the fifth time in history do we have all number ones and number twos still alive in the Sweet 16. I'll go a step further. I won't be shocked if, for the first time ever, you have all ones versus all twos in the Elite Eight. Ooh. Wouldn't shock me in the least. Right. There's only really two that even concern me. Iowa State would worry me just a little bit against Illinois mm-hmm. because Illinois can – they have a couple guys that are high, high level. Um, other than that, maybe Houston, but I don't Duke? think – I think Duke's fictitious. Yeah, no, I think – You played two teams that didn't belong in your white class. Good for you. Yeah, I think Houston is going to muscle them on the defensive end. I tend to agree. I think the fact that they had – they had that weird finish last night where they blow a just huge lead. They had four guys foul out. They had a walk-on shooting free throws in overtime, which was bizarre. No game should ever have a team shoot 45 free throws, Mm-mm. ever. That is what I was complaining about yesterday. Officiating is maddeningly inconsistent. And stop telling me it's human error. That is the dumbest argument. People used to make it about baseball. Now I hear it about college basketball. Stop giving me human element. 
Mm-hmm. Fouls are fouls. You got to quantify what a foul is because it can't be wildly different one game to the next. Nope. It's insane. Nope. And you would think we could have enough eyeballs on these games to get those calls right. But You'd apparently, think. we don't want to. Apparently, the outlay would just be too much to well, have, I don't know, two more officials reviewing all of the calls. Well, apparently, you also have a slew of officials that don't know what a flagrant foul is. Don't judge the don't judge the outcome, judge the play. Just because a kid landed on his head does not mean it was a flagrant foul. You dumb dumb. You're in the sportsocracy. This is ESPN Asheville. Back with you tomorrow here in the Ingle Studio at noon. This is your Exergen Temporal Scanner weather forecast on ESPN Asheville. Dry weather will continue here as we get into the afternoon with some partial sunshine. Uh, we may squeak out a sprinkle of rain. The gusty winds out of the south, though, 60 degrees. Not quite as chilly tonight. We'll drop to the low 40s. Uh, quite breezy, though. The winds gusting 30 plus. A few showers around tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon. Breezy and cool, high only 50. Showers tomorrow night, Wednesday, a chance of showers. A little warmer in the upper 60s. I'm Ethan Rowell, just race digit from the Weather Channel. This report is sponsored by Apple Tree Superstore. Apple Tree Superstore is committed to offering you professional service and a great experience. Brand new Hondas, brand new Acuras, and a large selection of local trade-ins all on one lot. Apple Tree Superstore, online at appletreesuperstore.com and located I-26 at Airport Road, Asheville. The Sportsocracy. Let's open up the whole can of kick ass and kill them all. Let the paramedics sort them out. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want to do this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you so you can walk and run and climb stairs and play golf and move again pain-free. No pain pills, no risky surgery. This is an all-natural solution. QC Kinetics has tens of thousands of satisfied patients who have reclaimed their mobility. Take action now and live your best life this spring and summer. It's a great use of your tax refund check, by the way. Call QC Kinetics for a free consultation. Phone 828-333-9517. 828-333-9517. That's 828-333-9517 in Asheville and in Greenville. From the Ingle Studios, this is ESPN Asheville, WPEK, W225CJ Fairview, WMXF Waynesville, and iHeart Radio Station.